before we end, wherever you are, just lift up your hands and just magnify this beautiful God. Wherever you are, just pray and ask God, Father, we ask you to come to our presence, Lord. Let your presence be, God.
Oh, it's what Jesus give the Lord a shout of praise. Hallelujah. If you're excited to be in church, give God a shout of praise one more time. Hallelujah. Give your neighbor a high five and say, It's good to see you.
morning, everyone. Okay, so you're welcome to Catalyst, an initiative of CYI that focuses on training young people who aspire to be great influential leaders. Amen. All right, my name is Frida, and I'll be your protocol officer for today. <laughs> All right, so turn to a neighbor and say welcome. Welcome someone to today's Catalyst. Tell them something nice, something sweet. <laughs> Okay, so we have a lineup of great ministrations planned for you today. Amen. Amen. You know, Catalyst ministrations never go wrong. Amen. All right, so I'll call them in order of um, ministration. Okay, so the various um, ministers should get ready for um, today's ministration. Amen. Okay, so first off is um, A to J. <laughs> Amen. And then we have I testify. Okay, now we have our sweet sister Kezia to <laughs> give us a song ministration. Amen. So with a clap offering, let's welcome A to J as they come to minister. So this next song is very simple. It says creation grows in anticipation for sons to get up and take position. There is no more room for procrastination. You must arise. Do you agree with me? Do you agree you must arise? Do you agree you must arise? No more room for procrastination. We must. 
So this Amen. God bless you, ATJ. Let's welcome I testify to come and minister to us. Amen. Good morning, everybody. Clap your hands and nod your head. Hum and shout. Amen. Amen. Deep, deep. Yes, yes pastor. pastor. Say, Say that, that again. again. Open your books and write nothing down. Close them back and tell your neighbor what a great service you just had. No, in fact, tell them something you remember from the service and then give them a hug and promptly forget what you just learned. Move from month to month and then what? If we look back over the years, have these Saturdays changed anything? Where is the evidence of the pure milk and bone you were given to ingest? Did you ever digest it? Or did you just show up to register your appearance? Okay, let's not even look too far back. What did you learn last month? After you were fed with the word on holiness, did you do your part and apply the knowledge to your life? Are you wise? Nonetheless, the food must be made available. So here's a word on anointing to digest. The law of the Lord is engraved on the heart to cherish and obey. We must be holy in the Lord, allowing his son to reign. As kings and priests, we cannot afford to soil our roots again. Yes, kings and priests, for we have been anointed into office called to a mandate far above the mandate. The Spirit of the Lord is upon us and gives us the strength to break strongholds, the wisdom to make sound decisions, the courage to witness for Him, and the grace to love the unlovable, those that we complain about. Yes, anointed we are, for we have God's own spirit dwelling in this flesh that is quickly fading away. We are made for exploits. We are sent to make freedom known to the captives. We, we are, are victors, victors in Christ, Christ Jesus. Jesus. We are no longer ordinary. We are kings. We are priests. His oil is upon us, the weight of his glory. And, and that's, that's what, what I, I tell everyone something that I felt. Yes, I testify. Thank you, I testify. Let's welcome Kenzie here to give us a sound demonstration. Amen.
there is a sweet, there is a sweet anointing, anointing in the sand. There is for ATJ, for I testify, and for Kenzia. Amen. Amen. Okay, so next on our program is the Word of God. Amen. So it's an honor and privilege to welcome our shepherd, Pastor Roy, to come and share the Word with us. With a clap offering and a standing ovation, let's welcome Pastor Roy. Hallelujah. Come on, let's give Jesus a shout and a praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Just worship him, he's here. Just worship him, just worship him. Just thank him, he's here. Come on, he's 
here. Just worship him. Just worship him. Just exalt him and lift him up. He's here. He's here. He's here. Come on. Come on. Exalt his name. Give him the glory. Give him the glory. Give him the glory. Give him the glory. Come on. 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 He's here. Just lift up your voice and just exalt him. Say, Lord, you're welcome. You're here. You're here. You're here. You're here. You're here. Come on. 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 Just exalt him, exalt him, just worship him. He's here. He's here. Come on. Come on, 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 come on. Kapaya da 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 ba. Rabba babo shepala da 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 da. Just pray in the spirit. Kapala do sheperiye kapala da da bo shepaya da 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 ba. Come on, man, na 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 na, be kepaya do she perio salaba bahada bala kapaya da mama. Rata tapaya te perio kapaya do she perio se bala da mama. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Just, just, just speak in the language of the Spirit.
Can we ever find a friend so faithful? Come on. Can we find a friend so faithful? Who will all our sorrows share? Savior, still a refugee. Just Savior, still a refugee. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Take it, give it to the Lord in prayer. Do thy friends despise, forsake you? Come on, do thy friends despise, forsake? Last time the blessed Savior had that promise. Come on, blessed Savior, that promise. Come on, we find a lot to projection team. Come on. Take it from the beginning, the beginning one. Let's start from the beginning one. What a friend, what a friend. Come on, let's take it. What a friend, yeah. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and grief to bear. All our sins and grief to bear. What a privilege to carry everything. What Everything to God, everything to God in prayer. Oh, what a peace we often forfeit. Oh, what a peace. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Come on. Come on, lift up your voice and speak in the language of the Spirit. Just pray in the Spirit. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Take it to the Lord in prayer. God, we want you to envelope this place. Envelope this space. Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, Kapayato Shah, Re Kapapayadama, come and stay hearts, turn things around. In the mighty name of Jesus, Sapayadamaya, we release the burdens upon our hearts. We release the burdens upon our hearts. We release the burdens upon our hearts. Ra Kapaya Patosha, Re Kapandine Moshaya, Re Kaya Babala Dadada. Hey, there's nothing you cannot do. There's nothing you cannot do. There's nothing you cannot do. Come on, come on, come on. Be deliberate about praying. Be deliberate about praying. Masho kapapaya deshe. Ha kapaya taya dere mononosha. Re bando shapaya balada baha. Ay, 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 bando se te pele ne menono. Re manda ba kapaya daba. E masho te paya. Are kapata. Lord, this morning, we ask our Lord, you heal. You heal, you heal every sickness, you heal every brokenness. The light of the knowledge will come in the mighty name of Jesus. The things that Lord are burdens to us, that Lord you take them, oh God. Lord, we declare the financial breakthrough this morning. We declare the financial breakthrough this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. We declare that addictions are going, that addiction are going. 
the pennies I roll away in the mighty name of Jesus. Sapaya pa rekato sataya akapaya debel in the no shayaha. You know our every weakness. You know our every weakness. In the mighty name of Jesus. Sapaya pa dede eke periosa pa rekato sa ya panda na 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 balada periosa ke palada ba. Speak to every possible situation. Speak to the impossible situation in the name of Jesus in your life. Come on this morning. We lift right now all our branches before you. That the grace of the Lord Jesus will come upon our spaces in the mighty name of Jesus. That there will be such a tangible presence at every meeting. We lift to God. Prince Charles and the missionary work in Liberia in the mighty name of Jesus and we declare that your grace will be with him that the word of the Lord will be in his mouth that through him healing and grace shall be released upon Liberia Lord we lift we lift in the name of Jesus the north we lift the north and the church in the north and the people in the north in the mighty name of Jesus that Lord your grace will be there come on lift up your voice and pray ah, Remano Satapaya, Akaye te periosa, Atataya pandibirioke, Ekapaya tesa, Aya tataya dibirie kapala, Repato seke, Ikatosa, Ikapataya, Arepato se tete, Yike periosa. Come on, we lift up for God a standard against the works of hell. This morning, in the mighty name of Jesus, against every spirit of discouragement, Lord, we lift up the blood against every works of the enemy. Makapaya, every orchestration, every orchestration, every orchestration, every orchestration, every orchestration, we declare deliverance. Rakapapaya, da da da. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Pray, pray, pray. We pray for every sick, every sick person in our family, every sick person in every situation. Come on, lift up your voice. Let there be a release. Let there be a release. Anybody on the bed of affliction, we declare arise from every bed of affliction. We speak and we command the word of the Lord into every, every place. We declare hospitals be healed. You are there, you are be healed, be healed, be healed, be healed. We speak in breakthrough, 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 breakthrough. Every iron gate, every iron door, we declare it broken. Every ancestral iron door, every demonic iron gate, in the mighty name of Jesus, we declare, hey! The King of Glory, the King of Glory, the King of Glory, the King of Glory is coming in. The King of Glory is coming in. The King of Glory is coming in. The King of Glory, who is the King of Glory? The Lord God Almighty, the Lord God Almighty, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Come on, come on, go ahead and pray. Lord, we declare the salvation of of, of family members. We declare the salvation of family members, our cousins, our cousins, our friends, in the name of Jesus. People who don't know the Lord in our lives, our lecturers, our lecturers, come on, Kapayadeshe. We declare they be saved. Come on, come on, come on. Declare your family members saved. Salvation, salvation, the promise of God. Is that when we are saved, it's we and our household. It's we and our household. It's we and our household. Declare your household is saved. Declare your household is saved. Declare your household is saved. In the mighty name of Jesus. Our presence in this hotel, 
our presence in this hotel to cause everybody that comes to sleep over. We declare the salvation of anyone that sleeps in this hotel. We declare the salvation of people that sleep in this hotel. We declare that they will be saved. We declare that they will be saved. We declare that they will be saved. There shall be salvation. 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 Ye panda balada, re kapaya tota, ye kapantaya, ranta paya, ya taya taya, ye kapaya paya, ranto seta, ye kapaya tea, antala bayada, ranta ya tea, ye keperiosa, ye kapaya paya dita. Ay, 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 Come on, 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 Masha. Ile Perio Sapaya. Akapayada. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I see some people are downstairs. Some people are being stared. Some people are now stared. Kataya, re kapa. Three more minutes. Push. The next three minutes. Push. 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 Hey, kapatosa. Hey, keperiasa. We are praying. May the praying grace, praying grace, this month of prayer, that there will be a release of praying, of prayer and fasting over the ministry. In the name of Jesus, hey, Katapaya, Red Satepe, branch president, pray for your branches. Leaders, pray, pray, Kapa, that unusual praying grace will come upon people. Ah, ya Kapa Tote, Are Kapa Tosa, Akapaya, departmental head, pray that unusual praying grace will come upon all your members. Everybody, 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 everybody. Hey, the spirit of intercession, the spirit of intercession, the spirit of intercession, come upon you right now in the name of Jesus. The grace of the intercession comes upon you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Hey, the burden, Masoka, the prayer burden, the prayer burden, the prayer burden for the nations, for the healing of the nations, Kaposi. For the advancement of the kingdom, Lord, let it fall upon Siwa. 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 Hey, Kato Shatatayada. Come on, come on, come on. Hold somebody's hand. Hold somebody's hand and keep praying. Pray in the spirit. A grace, Kapaya. A grace unto prayer is forced upon us right now in the name of Jesus. Araya da 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 ba This month there's going to be advancement, advancement of the course and the, and the, and our rights in the name of Jesus. In this month things are going to fall for us in pleasant places, in pleasant places. The walls are coming down. We are leaping beyond every every wall of limitation. In this month we are advancing. In this month we are advancing. In this month we are moving forward. Kapaya. The ancient goalposts are being moved. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hakapaya, ye tapaya, re kapaya, ya tapapa, e kato sata, re tete pelele, e kaya tapande de ne monosa, akapaya paya, ya taya. Come on, come on, come on, Masha Tapa. Raya, ya, 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 ba, 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 ha. Hey, he kapaya tapaya da ha. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ha, paya da ba, 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 dosa. Re, ba, 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 ba. Kapaya da, 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 ba, ya, da, ba.
Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, Masataya. Come on, just glorify God, just thank Him, just thank Him, just thank Him, just magnify Him. Come on, Masaya, da 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 da, just thank Him. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, da 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 ba da. Come on, just thank him, just thank him, just thank him. Declare that it's a shift that things turn around. Lord, I thank you for the shifting of things. Ah, yeah, yeah, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you. Right now there's healing, right now there's healing, there's healing, there's healing. There's grace, there's grace, there's grace, there's such a release, oh. We thank you, Lord. 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 My, yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, ra, ba, 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 ba. Ah, ya, to, si, pa, ya, na. Come on. We are healed right now. Ah, come on. Come on. God glory. Give somebody a high five. Tell them it's good to see you. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Have your seats in God's presence. God is good. And all the time. Okay, so tell them about we'll get back it up. We'll, we'll go back to prayer. Okay. Tell the one next, we'll go back to prayer. This month I'm taking on prayer. Amen. Amen. Because this is a month of prayer, right? And fast. Uh, prayer and fast. Hallelujah. Tell the one, it's prayer and fast. Obviously, if you're preparing for prayer, you have to. You can't prepare for prayer without. I mean, when you're praying, you're preparing a, 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 a topic or something on prayer. Your bow means you have to go and pass a material by Timothy Eden. Yeah. It says he's taught on how to pray and pray effectively for 50 years. Hey. 50 years. 
And it's, it mentions two scriptures that because everything you need to teach people and is found in these two scriptures. So the wife will go and teach those two scriptures, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. John 15, 7 to 8. That's the Holy Spirit teaching. He said, if you abide in me, and what? My words abide where? In where? In you. You will what? Uh-huh. How many, of, how many of us want what we desire to be done? Amen. <laughs> we all want what we desire to be what? To be done. And so Jesus has given us the keys or the ways by which what we desire will be done. And he said, if you abide in me, this is what and my words abide in you, you will ask what you desire, and it shall be done for you. The next verse says what? By this my Father is what? Glorified. That watch, you bear much fruit, so you will be my disciples. By this, my Father is glorified. You know that everything is about God's glory. Everything exists to manifest, to reveal, to point to, to show God's glory. Everything. <clears throat> Sorry. Everything. Including your two ears. Yeah, the way they are to reveal something about God. Hallelujah. Amen. So shake your neighbor and says, neighbor, your ears are not out of place. <laughs> Amen. Everything is about God's glory. But go to the verse 7. It says, if you would abide in me, I mean, when you look at that chapter, Jesus was trying to tell us how to be fruitful so that by our fruit, God is glorified. And one of the things that he was emphasizing is the need for us to stay within the vine. That as branches, we can't bear fruit without the vine. As a matter of fact, the life source is from the vine and it it flows through the branches. It's actually the pressure of, of the life source from the vine that goes through the branches that brings out its fruit. So the branch in itself is just like a conduit by which things are just trans- transported through. So once you disconnect from the vine, you can bear nothing. We can become nothing. Whatever we do that shows forth God's glory is because we are abiding. Abiding means we have made our residence in the vine. We have made our residence in the vine. Where we live, where we stay, where we do life is in the vine. Does it make sense to you? Yes. Our life source is in the vine. One of the challenges of current Christianity is that, and I think I, I made mention in my last presentation when we do on holiness, is the separation, the way we separate our, li- our lives. We, so we, we put in compartments and they are separate. We have our church life. We have our friend's life. We have, how do you call it, money life. We have relationship life. Sometimes when you hear some of the things that Christians do in relationship, you wonder whether they are the same people that go to church. When you hear some of the requests that believers are requesting in relationship, you're like, do you have a shepherd over you? Hey, am I making some sense? How does it surprise you? Because they've broken up their life into all these species and they are not too much. It's also part of the reason why some people don't want even some friends to know they even go to church. They're even embarrassed to go to, to be seen with believers. Or sometimes when their friends say, oh, who be this? They can't open their mouth and say, that's my brother in the Lord. 
They come and say, that's my brother in the Lord. That's my sister in the Lord. This is a fellowship I go to. This is where I do. Uh, am I making some sense? Yeah. yeah, because they've broken this, their lives, and they are, some, they are different to their friends. But the, this work of Christianity, you can't do it that way. Have you ever seen a branch that breaks itself from the vine and then comes back to attach itself to the vine like that? And you see that, that branch bearing fruit? It wouldn't. You wouldn't be able to bear fruit. And once the tree is formed, the branches stay as long as they can stay. Yeah, they stay as long as they can stay. That's where they live. So Jesus is saying that the key for you to having your desire is to make sure that you are stuck and you stay in the vine. Always. Always. Not sometime, always. Somebody say always. always. Somebody shout always. always. It's always. You got to stay. Say so if you abide in me and then my words, my words, my life form. Remember, the Bible makes us understand from the beginning, everything came to being through, I do call it the words of God. He said, he declared, the creative energy of God, the creative power of God, the intent of God, because the words of God are also a manifestation or the the our spoken, let's say, revelation of God's intent. I hope I made sense. You get it? That's, that's his words. He says, if those revelations and those truths about God reside in you, guess what? You are always going to ask in alignment with God's will. And remember, God's will is his intent. That is what God does. God does his will. For his will shall abide forever. That's God. God's will shall abide forever. So imagine you have God's word abiding inside of you and speaking God's. God will bring you. To, you'll be a walking um, instrument that God is going to use to bring to pass his will. Amen. Whatsoever you declare, it to come to pass. Whatever you desire to come to pass. So shake your neighbor and say, neighbor, in this month of prayer, Oh, shake, shake the person in this month of prayer and asking and fasting. Amen. Tell them, but make sure you are abiding. Make sure you are abiding. Tell the person, make sure you are abiding. Hallelujah. You have to abide in him. The word of the Lord must be one of your closest things. I mean, listen, use this month to go back to the habit of staying in the word. You get it? Yeah, sometimes you use any things as an excuse to get back to what you know you're supposed to be doing, but you've missed your way. Stay in the Word. Stay what? In the Word. When we're kids, sometimes, you know, we go to, I don't know if we went to Bible school. Hey, that's a Bible school. What's it called? Uh, Sunday school. Yeah. Some of us, we didn't like too much of Sunday school. Because they're, they're coming, memorize, they're coming, and all those. It, it puts some fear. And you and the Word, you and the Word of the Lord, the Bible, the, your relationship is rocky. It, it's, it, uh -huh. So even today, when we talk about the word of the Lord, you still are not able to embrace. Amen. Amen. You are not to study the word so that you quote it um, verbatim. Or somebody asked John 17. No, no. That's not the reason. I, most of us are missing it. It's the intent of, the, of God. Once you know it, your life will be ordered by it. You see that you speak. You don't even have to have. You don't even have to add chapter ten, chapter fifteen, chapter ten, chapter fifteen. So you, when you are you are showing somebody, the person can go and find where it is. That's the reason of chapter ten, chapter fifteen, chapter three. <laughs> That's the reason, so that somebody can go find it. So oh, it is found in chapter three. But look, know the intent of God when you are, you are reading. Take the chapter, you read it. Know the intent of God. Let the intent of God enter into your heart. Hey, am I making some sense? Yeah. yeah, because some of us can quote some things, but we don't do it. It hasn't entered our heart. It's just in our minds. Am I making some sense? Yeah, you just quote it, but you don't do it. What's the use of that if you don't do it? I mean, it's, it's, like, it's like quoting the, the, the Constitution and not doing it. Or... You go very well, stand by a word of it, that shall not unite. While you are reading, you are uniting. <laughs> I'm telling you, you will spell it with the, your, your urine. Your, 
That shall not unite. Have you known that before? Yeah, you are reading that shall not unite, but you are uniting there. <laughs> Amen. Amen. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, my words. Remember, God honors his word. God's word is very important to him. It is his word. His word. Sometimes I tell my sons, I said, one of the things that I'm, I'm concerned about is my words be, um, not meaning much to people. So once I say something to somebody, oh, one, two, three, it's a certain level when I realize that the same over and over, I stopped talking. Because now the words are useless to you. <clears throat> and that's a very one of the dangerous things. Any relationship with people, with anybody that's above, you have to be careful about that. Because once you are not working obedience, they will stop speaking. Sometimes that's how we lose the voice of the Holy Spirit. That's how we lose the voice of the Holy Spirit. When you became born again, you could hear the Holy Ghost and all that. You wonder why you don't hear him one. I'm telling you why. Because you are not intentional about doing what the word says. So his word is invalidated in your life. Am I making some sense, somebody? Uh huh. So shake your head and say, be careful to do. Be careful. Be careful. Oh, shake the person and say, be careful to do what you know to be true. Amen. But let the word of the Lord abide in you and speak forth the word. Live the word. You see that it is one of the keys to answered prayers. Why is this important? When you go to James, James talks about the fact that we can ask for our pleasures. Yeah. Anybody can ask things for their pleasures to satisfy our pleasures. Sometimes you can go ask. See, some of us say we have to be honest. If it's not for the Lord, if it's not for the Lord, and the word of the Lord that we know would have been gluttons. Because some of us can't tell how far we have, how far is eating that you have gone too far. Yeah. It's when you cannot breathe, then you know you, 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 you have gone far. <laughs> then you know that I've gone too far with my eating. <laughs> now, how much more, if that, how much more in every area of our lives? Sometimes you ask more than enough shoes. You don't need some of them. I'm telling you. Some dresses you don't need. But left for you, you go for it. If you had the ability to choose cars or limited, you see that you choose cars, you don't even have a, car, a, a garage for. You don't have a garage. You don't have, I, I don't know what I'm, I'm making some sense. We have, we, we, we have a propensity to um, do things to, because of our lust and our flesh, and we, we can't tell where to draw the line. And so Jesus said that, let my word, which is my will, be inside of you, and then you know what to ask. In accordance with, it's like the word of the Lord will bring the right kind of um, discipline to what you ask for and how you ask for it. Am I making some sense? Yeah. What to ask for and how to ask for it. It's the word of the Lord that helps us to know. Hey, am I making some sense, somebody? Yeah. Is it the right time to ask for a wife? The word of the Lord. When do you pray for a wife? Even how do you pray for a wife? Sometimes when you even start praying for a wife, the, the Holy Spirit will show you, the word of the Lord will show you what you should pray for. Yeah, what you should pray for. When you start praying for it, then all of a sudden wisdom starts coming to you. Mm. Well, it's all about the breast of wisdom. I shall pray the word of the Lord, guidance and all that. Say, Said, let it be inner beauty. Let it be inner beauty. Inner beauty. Inner beauty. Inner beauty. Inner beauty. Inner beauty. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. More than external breast showing. Inner beauty. Ah, uh, am I making some sense? Somebody shake the one next to you and say, let, let the word of the Lord. <laughs> yeah. I know a friend who went to, he went to, he went to spend some time praying, uh, praying, praying, asking for. He was asking for power. Power. And the Holy Spirit said, no, son, pray for love. Yeah, he said, pray for love. 
He said, I would that you walk in love. Amen. Amen. That's the will of the Lord. This will, once you pray, I already, I was telling someone that, look, our desires, God implants his desires in our heart if we allow him. And once we bite into his desire, already, once God is saying, ask for this, there's provision already for him. Yeah. So you must always know the intent of God because the intent of God, there's already a provision for it. You're not going to fight. It's already there. I guess I'm sending someone in the house. Okay, so where are we? Say, if you abide in me and what? My words, what? Abide in you. Say what? You will ask. You will what? Ask. See, there's a place for abiding. There's a place for knowing the word of God. And there's a place for asking. Some believers don't know. They think that once it's Nyami do Nim. Onimadina. Dio Onim Adenina said, Ask. Can't you see that they know something? He knows something. That's why I say you should ask. <laughs> I'm telling you. Look at the one next year. The one that knows everything say, You ask. Hallelujah. There is no substitute for asking. It means that your pastor cannot ask some things on your behalf. I said, about, I think in the Gigan, what was, what said, I said, he said, often, when believers, some people come and say, pray for me. He said, for what? <laughs> he said, what, what, what are you asking for? And he said something that's so profound. He said, most things... Or they said, I can't remember the percentage, but I said, most things people come and ask him to pray for, there's already, already a provision in, in the word. <laughs> yeah, stop praying for people by heart. <laughs> it's also pray for me. Yeah, yeah he was, what are we asking? What, what are, let's be serious. What are we doing here? <laughs> there's already a provision of wisdom for some things. There's already a provision already for some things. Hallelujah. Yeah, but you have to know what you're asking. And then when it's time for you to ask, you ask. Your pastor cannot ask for you. Now, he said that also because you have to know what you're looking for. And he says you must know it by the will of God. And then when he's praying, he's praying in agreement with what you know to be God's will for you and he's agreeing with you. But we have a generation that wants others to do the prayers for them. And that generation is the one that doesn't show, they don't go for prayer meetings. Yeah, because they are working under their grandmother's prayers. They are working under their mother's prayers. They are working under their girlfriend's prayers. <laughs> yeah. So they are making, they want others, and you are wondering why things are not working. <laughs> they are wondering. Bill Johnson says something. He said, prayerlessness costs. And he was saying that he, he, he will do a presentation on how costly it is when you don't pray. Prayerlessness costs. There's a cost. Remember, I've already made all the time mentioned, I said, look, whatever you are getting free, somebody pay for it. Mm. That, so, uh, the world is structured in such a way that there always has to be an investment for a reaping. If you are reaping without a, uh, an investment, it means that somebody else is doing that investment. Okay, so today you are reaping from your grandmother's prayers, your mother's prayers. Whose prayers are your children going to reap from? This generation, whose prayers, who, your children, and your children's children, well, is it you? You don't show up at prayer meeting. You only show up, you show up at prayer meeting the last 10 minutes. The last 10 minutes, that's when you show up at prayer meeting. Your prayers you are doing is on Zoom. Half of the time you are asleep. On Zoom, half of the time you are asleep, you are lying. Uh, 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 amen. 
when they say amen, then you come and say amen. amen. You think you're, you think you're deceiving. Uh, shake the one next to you. Tell there's a cost coming. There's a cost. Shake the one. Say there's a cost coming. Some of you, 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 you are too cool to be seen praying. You are too cool. People that pray like that, they are too desperate. You are not desperate. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. When you say, anytime, and I always say, when you say, let's pray, within the first 10, 10, 10, 15 minutes, you can tell those who pray. Because those who pray, when you say, let's pray, within 10, first 10 minutes, they are there. Because they know the road. It's like you're going to a place, once you know the road, oh, you know the caves, you know the portals, you, you get there. But those don't pray, those don't pray. When, when we reach 40 minutes into the prayer, now, now they are staring. <laughs> Well, we're almost closing the prayer. Now, who <laughs> The woman was chasing, looking for it. Couldn't find you. <laughs> so you don't know how to pray. And you, you, you're okay with it. It's like a, school, a cool Christian life. You know, you, then you, 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 you chalk by the wall and watch other people pray. <laughs> uh, I'm asking you. Maybe you are reaping from your mother's prayers. Whose prayers are your children going to reap from? <laughs> Whose prayers are your children going to pray, reap from? Some of you, it's like this. It's like our mothers prayed and they had, it's like if prayer was oil, excess barrels of oil. And that's why we come to meet. But we are praying according to our need. No, no, no extra oil. The only time you open your mouth, when you're in that situation, oh God. <laughs> and then God does say, ha, that's it. Then, that, that's all. No excess prayer, no plenty prayer, no make putting, as you call it, deposit of, of, of grace. There's no deposit of grace or investment for anybody. There's no extra oil around you. You're always dry. What are you talking about? Hey, am I talking about the house? I'm very serious. You have to pray. You have to learn to pray. Prayerlessness costs. There's a cost to prayerlessness. And I'll share some of its points here. Hey, are you in the house? Shake your neighbor and say, neighbor, you have to pray. You have to pray. You have to pray. You have to what? Now, the prince says something. He said the beginning of the church, the beginning of the church, Started with a spiritual, with a supernatural empowerment. Just to point to us that this work is supernatural. After Jesus had resurrected, you remember? Where were they gathered? They were gathered in a room. What were they doing? Doing party. Oh, ask your neighbor, what do you think you're doing in the room? What do you think you're doing? Acts 114. Acts 114. Let's look at Acts 114. Let's read the one that say, These all what? In one accord, what? In prayer and what? In what? Prayer and what? One more time. Uh huh. With the word. With the women. With words. I can't with words. It's a shocking that now you go to prayer and you don't see even women. Because as a woman, there you and Jesus, you and God, and your heart and God, you have more tender hearts. I'm not excusing the men. I'm not excusing the men. Women, your emotion will go first. So Relationship with God is it, it, it looks easier. Aha, uh-huh, it looks easier. That's how I'm here. I mean, small as we say, you say woman will cry right now. Why the man? This is his son. He said, "No, we we should say this. We should say this." It's super the way we move. You have a situation where prayer meeting women are not there. Hey. Hey. 
The, the, the men have broken the women's house, so they're not a prayer meeting. <laughs> look, women, then you look, you are, listen, I'm not excusing the men. Men. <laughs> you are not listening. <laughs> but women, look, because you have, a, the, you see, Bible said the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous. Do you know that the, 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 the meaning of that? Their heart felt. Prayer of the righteous. And women, your heart is already there. So all you need is a woman that cries out. Say, so God, have mercy. What does the Bible say about what's, what's, uh, um, Hannah? You see Hannah? Yeah. The one who could not give birth. Yes. It's Hannah. Where was the husband? <laughs> Where was he? <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> Somewhere. But the woman was crying between the porch and the altar, calling on God to the degree that even the man of God could not tell that she was adequately interceding and wailing and calling on God. The man of God could not tell that that was a woman in prayer. The woman was so lost and deep into it. Where are the women that are supposed to be praying? You are on IG checking what? You're on IG checking dress styles. Oh, be serious. If you are sitting by ladies, oh, be serious. Oh, be serious. You are in the saloon. Spending six hours. After six hours tomorrow, they come and continue again. Oh, yeah. You put some scarf over that bald head and go and go. No, we know we may also get balls. It's, it's, it's this one we all know. It's just we keep it under wrap. You get balls sometimes. Put some scarf, put some, tie something, and be up. Look, pray, pray, pray. Hey, am I making some sense? You have, we have to pray. At the beginning, when Jesus had left, the beginning of the church, they were guarded in one place and praying. They were guarded. Somebody put this, they said, look, prayer is, is, is one of the job description of the church. Prayer is not a nice, it's not a, one of the nice items to put on the program. With the women and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and with what? His brothers. Brothers, you see, you, 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 you see men praying? Yes. Yes. Brothers, are you in the house? Yes. Brothers. Now, one of the things you have to understand, I was telling one of my leaders, I said, look, when you your branch, I said, look, make sure that your prayer meeting you are there. Mm-hmm. I told her, this, make sure your prayer meeting. Why? Because I said the Holy Ghost will move, and you better be the one God is going to use. Hey. Hey. You let others go, and the Holy Ghost use them. Very soon, they will call them the shepherd over you. Mm-hmm. Part of the reason why your friends and people don't see you. As a leader, gentlemen, gentlemen, are you in the house? Yes, or the women don't see you as leaders because you can't hear the voice of the Holy Spirit. Yet you want to lead. <laughs> you can't. When the move came, can you imagine if the men were in the house and only the women were there and the move came? Power had come, displayed such, and the men, the men will, will be, obviously the women will have to take over. So don't stay at home, let your woman go and go and see the move and hear the voice of God and say, let me see then, catch him, let me, let me. no. <laughs> oh, be serious, oh, be serious. Shake your girl, we by a guy, says be serious. We are said by God, tell you God, be serious, be serious. <laughs> and a lot of you, a 
lot of uh, this generation, you are excusing yourself from prayer meetings. And I wonder, how do you develop the voice of God? Do you know I, how I, I do, uh, God trained my voice in a bit of the, uh, the prophetic and, and knowing his intent? He was actually wanted to prayer meeting, prayer force. Even before that, GNCS, prayer, that's where it started from. And when, when I went to Achimota School, I was going to Achimota School, I said the house going to just talk the word. We, were going, we actually go for prayer meeting one hour before going to the houses. And I remember those early parts. There was a time when I, were leading, I was leading prayer, and all of a sudden, I thought I see, I see the globe. I, I, was just, I see what I'm seeing. I'm not seeing. Because the move of the Lord is there. God is there. So he will start activating uh, latent gifts inside of you. It's like... It's fire, and you are, you are, you are, you are dormant. You are cool. It will just warm you up. Mm-hmm. But if you are not there, how will God do it? Mm-hmm. You have to be at a prayer meeting. You have to be. As a branch president and leaders, if you don't take control of your prayer programs, it will be very difficult for you to take control of everything else. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you. Part of the reason why you are not having people submitted because you don't see the, the grace of God work through you. You are like a, a brother. I feel like I always say, don't do this. You don't do what? <laughs> <laughs> well, who are you to tell them? You, you get it? Yeah. So take your, take, take your giftings and things seriously. This work started with power. Tell them about this work started with power. Let, let's go to the next verse 17. And those days, you see, Peter stood up in the midst of the disciples. Altogether, the number of the names were about 130 and said, yeah. Jesus was gone, beginning to see the leaders are showing. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you in the house? Yeah. yeah. And this is, what he, he, this is the one thing the prince said. That he said, look, Jesus told them, don't go. He said, Jesus did not permit them to go represent him without power. Because he knows that if you go represent him without power, you'll be a coward. And you'll show wrong side to the world. So he didn't allow them to go do anything without power. Hey! I don't make some sense. Don't go and do anything. Don't go and start anything. You, you have not spent time praying. You are not, you are not empowered. And you, you go, you, what are you going to do? Yeah. And that's some of the challenge we're having right now. We're having people talking in the name of God. They don't even pray. Hey. Shake your nerves and neighbor. This one there, be bumper. He said what? Prayer is the generator of power in the church. <laughs> this is the, the prince. They said prayer is the generator of power. He said, without prayer, there is no power being extended to any ministry. There's no power being extended to any ministry. So if you're a worship leader, your worship team, you don't pray, there's, you, you, you both have no power. Obey power. Hey, dance ministry. You've been dancing two, three years. You've never gone on a fast on your own. Three days. Three days you are waiting. You have never done any fasting. And you wonder why we are not inspired when you dance. Uh, <laughs> 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 Acts 2 verse, from verse, verse 1. Let's look at Acts 2 from verse 1. It says what? We know the scripture. When the day of what? Pentecost had what? Fully come. They were what? In one place. Then what happened? And, and what? Suddenly, what? There came what? A sound from heaven. As of what? Uh-huh. And it filled the whole house where they were sitting. Come on, go on. <laughs> then what? They appeared to them. Divided what? As of what? And? Uh-huh. And began to speak with what? And what? Add 
words the spirit gave them utterances this is the beginning of the church supernatural works oh hallelujah yeah supernatural works your look your branch you must go back there and say hey there must be supernatural works here hey don't go look if there's no heat snakes will feel comfortable if there's no heat snakes will feel comfortable of Paul the snake was comfortable it was when they set the fire then the snake came out the serpents ministry attracts serpents you don't know the lying deceiving conniving yeah 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 it pulls them and sometimes we have serpents in our midst hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we just need some fire. We need some words. Yeah. Sometimes all you have to do is just set some fire. The gossip he will, he will leave. It won't, it won't be. Because when they want to gossip, you want to pray. When they want to gossip, they say, shall we pray? <laughs> Come to gossip about the brother. Okay, it's intercession time for that brother. <laughs> I'm telling you, they won't bring any gossip again because any, any gossip they're coming. <laughs> one more bite. Hey, in Bible time. <laughs> Are you with me? Yeah. But when it begins, you see, sometime now, I, I, I've noticed the Holy Spirit trying to pull my mind to some things. And he's talking to me about our expectations. That we are losing sight of our expectations. Because you can be at a place where you become accustomed to everything. You adjust your life. Rather than living your life the way God intends so that your world adjusts to you. What happens is that you adjust your calling to that life. And then you say, Babo dear sir, life dear sir, no. It's not true. One of my, one, one of my sons who have been struggling with a um, certain level of addiction for so long. And you can see that the struggle is not, it's not, it's not easy. He has multiple dreams of attack. And one time he called me and was telling me, he told me, he said, the devil, is, you know, he, said, he showed me a dream of a lot of attacks in his dreams. And I told him, I said, look, these are demons from your past and the things you have done in the past. They are demons that don't like the fact that you are shaking yourself off the ground. They are demons. So he had a certain, another dream the, 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 the following day where some two people were, at, one had held his neck. They were attacking and they had held him and lifted him up. And then he said, the second one behind said, you said, you are the one saying that you are the righteousness of God. Yeah. And he has been saying it because I told him, see, when I told him that it's an attack, I said, look, you, it's either you win or they win. Choose. Yeah. God has not given you over to them. You only go to them once you don't fight. But God has not handed you over to them. God has actually handed you over to victory. So as he's going about praying, because he entered a season of prayer and fast and all those things, and then you go to a dream, and then the demon says, you said. <laughs> you say, yeah. And he said, yes. And he repeated. He said, yes, I am the righteousness of God. And then he woke up from the dream. Everywhere is a battle. It's, it's, look, it's not on the face value. It's supernatural battle. The things that are recurrent in your life and your family, you think it is... Look, somebody said something. One of the tragic things about our present generation is that we don't know our history. Like you go, if you knew your history, you knew your uncles, 
You go and chase. You see an uncle, eh? You are behaving like that uncle. I'm telling you, you are repeating a destiny, a certain, a certain, a certain mold the enemy is putting on you, making sure that somebody must wear that mold. But because you don't know, go and check. Every generation, there's one that becomes mad. There's one that goes to drugs. It's one that is lost. So as you are going back and forth, you are you have an attraction for, for weed. You are a believer, but who weed? I also say a, 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 a nice. <laughs> And you're bad. <laughs> yeah. You see it as medicine. Yeah. <laughs> what God that uncle is coming to you? You are a believer, you are you have a girlfriend, but every other girl looks like your girlfriend. <laughs> There's a mold. He said there's a look alike. <laughs> it's a mold. Somebody wants you to repeat that. Somebody wants. And as for that, look, you can see families, their repetition is there. Because you don't realize that it's not, this thing is not on face value, a spiritual thing. Yeah. A spiritual. Recently, a man will go into mention a town and talks about powers that be is in trouble. I see there's a culture that hasn't got this in. You look at Americans that come and come and show to us as if they, they don't know what the devil is. Now it's more evident that the devil, they even worship the devil himself. <laughs> That's the, the headquarters. The devil's headquarters in America. So if we say the devil's headquarters is America, the America will call us, come and justify yourself. But what kind of joke is that? If you don't believe, you don't believe him. That's all. But he has no reason to apologize. I believe he has no reason to apologize. Apologize for what? Which culture hasn't got the devil there? What are you talking about? But because we have, and I'll show you, it's part of the reason is because there's prayerlessness in the church. So the church is becoming coward. Become a coward. One of the guys who came to write said he's from the uh, voter region. He's, he's, he's actually, as you call it, lives in Scotland. He's a Christian. He goes to church. And when he comes to Ghana, he goes to do all the rituals and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Because you don't know the Adiwe, a power. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, in this world, there are two. Is God and the other usurper of God's power. That's the devil. He created another kingdom, darkness. Two kingdoms. Kingdom of God, kingdom of the enemy. I was saying something, uh, Derek Prince said, he said, look, part of the reason why we are not, the church is not standing out is because we are not taking the stance of the early church. Because in the early church, they preach another kingdom so much that the kings of those times were threatened. Wow. Yeah, Pilate was threatened because they said, hey, are you a king? <laughs> and so in the political arena, we are talking about, no, no. But the, the church of now, we, we are comfortable aligning with the world. That's why there's no distinctness with us. You see, that's why we're not creating enemies we should create. Because, oh, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Yeah, 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 yeah. The snake is lying by your side comfortably because you are not distinct. The snake is your friend. The liar, the cheat, the fornicator is your friend because there's no heat from you. Yeah, it's becoming your pet. You are, you. But you remember what they say? If you lie down with a dog, what will you do? You rise with fleas on you. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.
<laughs> he said, well, you back home. <laughs> If you are comfortable, it's not, it, 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 it's different. If you are comfortable with somebody who works in sin in your life, then there's something wrong. It means that you're not emitting out much heat. The person must be uncomfortable with you. The person must be uncomfortable with you. And those who were in school, we're not just living our Christian life. People could tell you you're different. Some things don't even say in your presence. But you people are comfortable to say, in a breast, and they which one? In your presence. <laughs> Oh, mom, bye. You bring. <laughs> yeah. Hey, are you in the house? Yeah. To look, our lives must challenge the authority of the, of the world. That's the Christian life. Your life must challenge. There are something about you that people must get angry at. Somebody must, somebody must be uncomfortable with you over something. Are you with me? Yeah, somebody must be. When the power came, that was when the, the torment started. Now let's look at the scripture. So this scripture in um, James. James 4 from the verse 2. Shall I read on? What does it say? You lust and you do not have. Why? You made and what? Covet and what? Cannot obtain. Why? You fight and war. This is the way um, Bill, Bill Johnson put it. He said, <laughs> prayerlessness creates lack. He says, prayerlessness creates lack. And he said, there's a tendency for Christians to think that the lack in your life is normal. Or God is using lack to train. <laughs> yeah. And sometimes you can settle in that and think yeah. that God is training you. That's why it's not given to you. Bossu. <laughs> Are you in the house? Yeah. I'm telling you, it's not always the case. It said you, you lack. You don't have because you do not ask. That's my reason. You lack. Create, prayerlessness creates a lack. Even when you look at God's, God's promise, ask so that you will have so that your joy will be full. God wants your joy to be full by giving you what is necessary and what is yours for your, for your uh, calling. I'm going to make some sense to somebody. Yeah. So one of the reasons why we should pray is that there must be, prayer helps us to create abundance in our life. Prayer gives us an opportunity to have in abundance. Gives us opportunity to have in abundance. Hallelujah. Amen. Other than that, you go coveting, you go murdering. Bible talks about the fact that we don't murder just only with our hands, but even with our hearts. You wish it was you. When it was you, you've removed people from their relationship and put yourself in there. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, in your dreams, you have that. All that. <laughs> Sister, there's a man for you. Yeah. Go and concentrate and pray. Yeah. And let the other sister enjoy what she has. Yeah. Oh, am I making some sense? Yeah. Yeah. Let Kofi enjoy his wife. Yeah. And don't put yourself... Don't be putting yourself in Kofi. Say, if I, were, if I was Kofi, what I would do? Yeah, hey, what I would do? Yeah, you are not. It's not yours. Hey, am I making some sense? Yeah. Why waste our time converting? Why waste our time craving? Why not you go pray? Am I making some sense? Yeah. Enter the prayer closet. Pray. 
What do you have a lack? Pray. Who say pray? pray? You don't have much money. Pray and say, God, give me ideas. Why don't you enter and say, God, give me ideas? Because ideas shape the world. Yeah. Spend time and say, God, ideas. After you pray, sit down. Every idea you get, write it down. Uh, that I don't have, you have been doing this for six years, seven years. You still don't come pay for camp. Hey. You don't know you have to enter the prayer courses. <laughs> God is training you with luck. <laughs> six years. And at the end, there, what God is going to make out of you there? <laughs> It's a lie. Enter the prayer, prayer closet. Enter the prayer closet. I'm telling you, enter the prayer closet. Yeah. See, one of the things, and let me divert here a bit. One of the things, my concern lately, sometimes when I'm with my sons in a car, you see somebody who is like grown women, like very grown women walking. Yeah. Sometimes you can see that she's in an underprivileged position. My heart turns inside of me. I wish I, want, I, I can help. But how much can I do? Because my focus is not grown women. My focus and my calling is young people. So the next question I ask, who is the person God has called to take care of them? Where is that person? That person may have started one, two, see the challenges, and have left it. So I'm going to the prayer closet and say, God, I believe you have called me. Make provision. Give me way. I'm not, no, I'm not making some sense to you. I, you see, a young, you see uh, um, um, young guys whose minds have been destroyed by drugs. That's, somebody, that's somebody's ministry. That's somebody's ministry and calling. Because God has called each, of our, each and every one of us to represent him in every sphere of our, our, our giftings. Every sphere of life, God has called somebody to represent him and take care of the, of, of the loss. The Bible makes us understand that when Jesus saw the masses without and there were a lot in plain, what did he say? He said, was standing within him. And he said, they were like, what, sheep without a shepherd? Yeah. And he said, Lord, he said what, pray the Lord of the harvest to send what? Laborers. So God is always calling laborers into specific areas to take care of people. Hey, am I making some sense to somebody? Yeah. And I'm saying that sometimes the reason why people don't walk into their calling is because of lack. They don't have. Yeah. Lack could have stopped this ministry many years ago. Lack. Thank God God trained us to wait on him and to pray and to trust him. And today we see God make provision for us. Hey, am I making some sense? Hallelujah. Yeah. Even to date, going international and do what we are doing, it costs so much. It costs so much. We, we hopefully send a team of how many? F five or six. Yeah, to Liberia. It costs one plane ticket is almost $500. $500. Don't be deep and buy. Where do they, they lay their head? It hasn't come. But we will do it. And how do you get to do it? We enter the closet. He said, ask. ask. In asking, there's an abundance. God will give you a way. God will open the door. God will show you favor. Am I making some sense, somebody? Yeah. Young people, it's not enough for you to go about and say, I don't have, I don't have. Enter the closet. What are you doing with your life? The voice, go enter the closet. Oh, be serious. Look at the one that says, what are you doing? What are you doing? You are there of praying on, your, on, your, on WhatsApp, pressing, pressing, likes, 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 likes. Up to now, you haven't seen that likes, likes that you are doing. He hasn't, hasn't put food on your table. Obe, obe small. Obe, obe. <laughs> ay, 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 We waste time on things that are unnecessary. You yeah, follow it. Shatawale. So, what, what? what? Shatawale is what? And to what? Enter the closet. Pray. Pray. And when you are praying, there are other things. I'm sure this man will have to teach on prayer and all types of prayer. There's some prayers. Look, you have to be there. Mm. Say, God, you have to resist the distraction. Don't take your phone. You have to wait. Mm. Say, God, I'm waiting. Mm. God. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Recently, I started listening to, there's a, 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 a what's his name, uh, Kenneth Egan. He has this prayer with Kenneth Egan on YouTube. I didn't know. 
Sometimes what you have to do, just go and play. Let it play. See how he's praise. Oh, Kaya. He prays, crying, laughing, waiting. That's it. Waiting. That's how you see abundance. Because there is provision. The five million, where is it coming from? Five billion, I, I, the three billion IMF man, where is it coming from? No, where is it coming from? Is he on earth? Did he, did he release you from heaven? Did he write a check to God and God brought it? Yesterday or three days I read, your master has gotten back to his first position. Yeah. It's a hundred and something. A hundred and something billion individual. <laughs> Dan Kuti, they said his listen has gone up. I think it makes a, is it a week or a day or something million, something dollars, million dollars. One human being, one head, no two, <laughs> not three. Each of me. Each of me, no. Where is the money? The money is in the system, it's in the flow. The money is in the system, it's in the flow. That's what money, that's why God says, enter the closet and I'll show you where it is. It's your laziness that is creating your lack. Shake the one that says, it's your laziness that is creating your lack. It's your laziness. You think somebody owes you. You think somebody owes you. So you have to give it to you. So you go and get a sign of and say, give it to me. Oh, best serious. Yeah, some people, that's what they, they think what is in my pocket is yes. <laughs> that's one, number two. Say, so look. <laughs> when we are prayerless, <laughs> We face temptations we don't have grace for. <laughs> That's why Jesus said, pray that you what? You remember? Yeah. Do you know, you remember it's in Jesus' this thing? Because he said, ask for temptation, what? It will come. It's coming. Today you look at like pious and you're okay. As a temptation coming, that will shake your foundation and shake your world. Yeah. When you are sitting here, you look as if you are perfect. You just step out, Sasha. <laughs> Bill Johnson said, he said, it's not that you are prone to sin. No. But prayerless creates a battle you don't need to fight. That it's not every, this is the way he even put it. He said, look, every battle God allows us to go to, he has given us grace. He wants us to disgrace the enemy. That's why he allows us into certain battles. So there is already an assured victory behind the battles God sent you. But when you don't pray, you enter into battles God has not given you grace for. A small thing will floor you. It's like the people of uh, Israel, when they, they, the Lord sent them, certain, how do you call it, strong, strong, great nations, they beat all of them, flood them, until there was sin found in them. Yes. And they went to a small nation, flood them and killed some of them. It is the grace of the Lord that helps us to overcome battles. It's not our wit. I'm telling you, it's not a wait. It will say, Jesus, may God have mercy. If you joke, a girl that doesn't even know how to even put on eyeshadow will floor you. <laughs> yeah. Have you not seen men who are married to beautiful women, working women, women who can afford every beauty therapy? But yet they are falling for their, how do you call it, uh, housemates. They can't even speak English. Housemates can't even speak English. Can't even say anything. They are falling for them. But their wise women that are whatever, they are there. So it, the prayerlessness, it's not just putting that in them. You are entering battles God has not required you to do. 
I'm, I'm not making some sense. One of the things in our generation, most of us, we can say that we are tired with Christian work. Do you know why? It's because we are fighting unnecessary sin. Part of the reason why we are tired is because of sin. We sometimes you get tired. The same sin. Yesterday they flood you. Oh, God, forgive me. The one they flood you. Oh, God, forgive me. When they flood you, well, first you say, okay, God, it happens. So dear. Let's hold on. Let's hold on the forgiveness. <laughs> Let me bundle it. <laughs> Let me bundle the forgiveness. God, it may, it may happen. You get tired. I'm telling you, you get tired. Sin is one of the reasons why we are often tired. It's sin. Sin from our own lives and sin from Christians around us. Continuous sin. For, it will make you tired. That's why we are tired with Christian, Christianity. I'm telling you, and sometimes those in the world can see that you have no bread. I'm bread. So why should they come? They'll just stick with their sin. Because we will be my self forgiveness. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. And the reason why we are falling and dealing with sin is because we are not praying. Because when you start praying, God will tell you some things. I'm telling you, once you see the friend request, the Holy Ghost will tell you, pass. That's it. You allow them into your life. Now she's calling you at the time you're not supposed to. Now you don't know. You say, oh, I'll get away. Then by the time we realize your heart is going to her, and you know it's wrong. And you're wondering, where's the Holy Ghost? The Holy Ghost knew you reach here and doubt him. That's why it says, don't say yes to It's not every request you have to say yes to. Even sometimes in the same Christian fraternity, it's not everybody that's supposed to be your close friend. Hey! I know somebody who went to a church convention, met the girl the first day. The church convention is five days. I know the church. Five days, three days, they slept every night. Yeah, you're talking about. Yeah, and you come for meeting. They slept. They come for meeting. Yeah. They come into a convention. Pe, 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 pe. It's no. Listen, listen. It's not everybody. Look. Listen, it's not everybody you take their number. It's not everybody you give your number to. It's not everybody. It's not everybody you open your well, 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 go and tell your things to. No. Yeah. Because some people, when you tell the things, they see you as somebody who can do more and they will come and fool it. Say, aha, where do you Japan? He said, don't do you do do goom. When you are prayerful, the Lord will deliver your steps. Bible said he orders the steps of the righteous. He orders the steps of the righteous. He orders the steps of the righteous. Hallelujah. Amen. He orders what? The steps of the righteous. Look, if you are prayerful, some, some apps, it will be easy for you to delete. Reason why you have not been able to delete, you are not prayerful. Yeah. Because you know it's not helping you. Angels can even tell you that I cry with Oi Jimmy. I did them one. If they allow you, they'll come and tell you, manifest as Jimmy and I did it. I didn't even call. One mama can you mean him up and down? Sir, I did it. I did Meanwhile, pray the Bible. Guys, listen. When you read the Bible, God's intent was to show a certain wisdom to even angels. Two believers, that's God's goal, is to show a certain wisdom to them that they will never know because they don't have free will. So every day, angels are surprised by the decisions sometimes we make. And it makes God look like, Let's go to the other scene. Let's go to the other scene. And we've waited for three months. You are changing the scene, sir. No. There's a wisdom that must come from your life. In how we deal with sin. You think God doesn't know we are in sin? God knows we are in sin. A world of sin. That's what I mean. He knows we are in a world of sin. But it is in this place that he said we are victorious. God is the wisdom he wants to express to angels and demons. And prayer life will help you to see the ways God is showing you. We have to pray. 
Hallelujah. Amen. Am I making some sense, somebody? Yeah. yeah. Number three. Or number four. I don't know where, where we are. But the next point. When you pray, you become fearless. Let's look at Philippians 4, from the verse 4 to 7. NIV. Rejoice what? In the Lord always. I will say what? Again, re- what? Rejoice. No, wait. Let's go to Ephesians, rather. We come to Ephesians 6, 18 to 20. What is it? And pray what? Let's say so your, 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 the demons in your life will hear. Pray what? Uh huh. With what? Uh huh. Be alert. Pray for all the saints, right? Mm-hmm. The next verse. Pray also what? That was. Uh huh. I will what? I will what? The world wants to put fear in us. The world wants to put fear in us that what we are saying is not true. From the very beginning, when you are going to testify about God, one of the one of the um, express work of the Holy Spirit in their lives after prayer was courage. Yeah. Courage. Because the world will put fear. Look, will put fear in you. <laughs> Go to America. You have believers. For instance, um, is it the Dodgers game? Um, I think they are American baseball, I think. Yeah. And they said they are going to award um, heroes of what? Heroes of something. Their community. And one of the groups that they're going to award are these three transgender or gay people. And these three people, their team, I've forgotten their name. And what they do is that they mock their Roman Catholic sisters. They, they have three characters. One is a, is a sister of fornication. Look, if you see the things, I've forgotten their name. It's, it's horrific. It's, it's, it's disgusting. It's you can't believe. Yet, they've covered that they're going to honor them all. <laughs> and you ask yourself, where are the Christians? Do you know what has kept them quiet? Because they are, fear, they are fearful. Because once you show your face, they may start attacking you. Meanwhile, these nuns are good people. You are going to award, award proper nuns. How do you walk, how do you award non, uh, um, degenerated minds? Gosh. And part of the reason now is because people, we are fearful. Some of you, you can never talk, you can't even talk about gay things. Because you're afraid. You don't want your friends. You don't want people to say things. You don't want people to say that you are... Now, one of the things they tell you is that, hey, religious. Yeah. Spiritus. And you, you religious spirituals, you're afraid of it. You're afraid of being called religious or spiritus. That's what you're afraid of. And they back up. Yeah. And that's why we must pray. Pray, God will give you courage. So we can be bold and say, this is wrong, this is right. We're getting to a place where a society that allows weed, legalizing weed, What are you talking about? Now, it's get, look, it's getting to a place where you can't tell what sin. You, you, you see, you can't be bold to tell somebody that that's a sin. You say that's an attack on the person. Yeah. You can't say, now you can't say fornication is a sin. If you see somebody say, you're abusing me. You're abusing my human rights. Yeah. 
No, that's where it's getting. You're abusing my human rights. <laughs> Paul said, what? Pray also for me. We have to pray for pastors. Pray for our leaders. Branch president, we have to pray for every branch. Look, leaders, you have to pray for your branch president. And that cowardice will make their message change. Yes. And then they'll speak and sh- share things that will put the, the church to sleep. Some churches, the people are all asleep because their leaders are not, are not uh, courageous. They are not fearless. And this started in America years ago. They took away prayer from uh, uh, schools. Anytime the enemy is coming, he takes away prayer. I'm telling you, the first thing is prayer. Some of you, let's go to some of Ghanaian schools. They don't, those they went for SU at, hey, at time SU, before you leave school, we had the SU at all night. Hey, pray. And you know, when young people, when they are zealous, they pray about everything. Everything is, hey. Now go there, occultism. All these things because what? Prayer is out of the place. And because, because there's no prayer, those are supposed to be bold to speak. They don't have the courage to speak. See why? Are you listening to me? Yeah. I can, are, you, are you listening to me? Just, you, have to, you have to pray for me. It's not, it's not a, a, a favor you are doing for me. It's a must. If I'm going to speak the truth, I need a church that prays. I need a, a kingdom people that prays. I need branches that prays. They must pray all the time. Pray, God, give him courage to speak the truth. Hey, are you in the house? Because sometimes you have to say it and let them take you to jail. And that's one thing, in our, in our, in, especially in Ghana, we, over time we won't have these people. Yeah. There was a man of God by name, um, oh, Holy Spirit, man. He is the spiritual father for daughters of glorious Jesus. Is it also answer? Yeah. Powerful man of God. <laughs> Doing his time. JJ. Yeah. They would do, sometimes they would take him and go and beat him and flog him. This man, he flogs him. Have you ever heard of a tape where they flogged him, removed his dress left under? From there, look, he looked for whatever, went back to the crusade ground. They say, he hasn't changed his, word, his message. He's noted to have been killed. He was on his way to go preach, and then they killed him. Accident, the car came to knock him. Courageous man. Lots of people who are now standing and doing things with God, they will trace their, their lineage of spirituality to him. There's something about courage. And fearlessness. But conformity is taking away all our courage. Conformity is taking all our courage. And it's because we are not entering the place where God has to give us supernatural courage. Prayer. Hey. Shake your nose and say, neighbor. Be serious, be serious, be serious, be serious. Shake your nose and say, prayer, prayer is necessary. Prayer is necessary. And I like the way it's from the, from the 18, it said, Pray in the spirit in all words. Let's, let's look at it. Let's, let's, uh, I like. On what? All what is all occasions? All what is all occasions? All <laughs> Pray when you're walking. Pray when you're eating. Pray. <laughs> <laughs> Pray when you're in the loo. That's why you have to eat well. So in the loo, you can pray and do the two together. Some of you in the loo, you can't breathe. <laughs> you, you can't breathe. That's you breathe. <laughs> While you're there, yeah, the supply of air that is there, you have to hold it. <laughs> pray when you're bathing. Pray when you're bathing. Under the shower, then pray. Kappa, yapa, lada. You, you have to pray every even on the field when you are going to the field when you are walking pray pray all occasions with all kinds of prayer and what and requests hey before you go talking and gossiping call, pray hey am I making some sense somewhere in the house because I've seen a habit that I, I, I have to 
I have to discourage. Gossip doesn't help anybody. Yes. Gossip does not help. It doesn't help you. It doesn't help the one you're talking about. So why are you wasting your time on it? Gossip does not help anybody. Let's not create, let's not see why be a place where people gossip about people. Hey. If you have time to gossip, you have time to pray. Hallelujah. When someone's about to gossip about someone, they say, shall we, shall we pray? Shall we pray? Shall we pray? <laughs> Look at the one that's when they start, they say, shall we? Let's pray. So what about this, this lady and the, and the boyfriend? Shall we pray? <laughs> I fear that he didn't write it. Shall we enter into a prayer time? <laughs> yeah, let's cast it to the Lord. Let's put it before the Lord. And let's trust God. No hypocritical prayer. True prayer, heartfelt prayer. Lord, let's take over the situation. I fear what is happening between these two brothers and this. Shall we pray? Let's enter into prayer. Let's pray for them. God, that you bear them up. That, Lord, you remind them that you are with them. That's a, look, that one minute of this in heaven has had it by faith. That's the way it works. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not that we're ending here, so we, can't, we need to come and do the, uh, uh, the atmosphere. Come and play. No. Shall we pray two on two? Five minutes, God, we have prayed. Hey, am I making some sense? Yeah, this guy is always asking, me, shall we pray? Mercy, Lord. Are you in the house? He said, what? With this in mind, be what? I let and what? Always. See, see. Look at the way he's trying. First, say, and pray in the spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all sins. It means that a power team one, half of it should be praying. You watch, you watch your consent for a day and check out which aspect of it has prayer inside. Pray. Somebody say, pray, 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 pray. Shake, shake your hand and say, pray. And then, Philippians 4, let's go back to Philippians 4, 4 to 7. Let's go one to go. Say what? Rejoice what in the Lord what always, and I'll say it again what. Rejoice. I can't hear you. I'll say it again what. Tell me by a command. Tell me by a suggestion. Tell me by some mobile face now here no. See the word. See the word. What's what's the word saying? Rejoice always. Rejoice what? And I say what. Rejoice. Okay, the next verse. It says what? Let your words gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Gentleness. See, the Lord is gentle. It's one of the things we all have to learn to be gentle. Gentle in, in our handling and dealing with people. Always remember, we must be gentle with people, guys. We must always be gentle with people. In your dealings with people, be very, very gentle. Okay, let's go on. For the Lord is near. Then say what? Do not be what? Anxious about what? About what? Uh huh. Uh huh. Again, let's have a beginning. Say what? Do not? Uh huh. But in everything, by prayer and petition, with what? Uh huh. And the next verse says what? Which transcends all understanding. We'll do what? Now listen, we live. How do I put it? We live from the strength of our minds. You get it? A weak mind, a weak life. Strong mind. Strong life. Now, yet everything that attacks you will attack your mind. That's where it starts from. Everything that attacks you attacks on what? That will attack your mind. 
And Bible is saying that. Do not be anxious about anything. It's a posture you must take in life. Not to be anxious. Do you know why? Because chances are 99.9% .9 of the things you fear don't happen. They don't happen. Amen. Amen. There are a lot of things I feared. They haven't happened. As a matter of fact, it is said that one of the great fears that human beings carry is public speaking. And most people are afraid of speaking in public. It's not they can't talk. Home. But fear controls their mind so much that words don't come out of their mouth. <laughs> so they have the ability to do what they are afraid of. But fear holds them from doing it. And where does it come from? It comes from the imaginations of their mind. What if I don't, I don't mention the word right? If Obama makes mistake when he's, he's talking, what are you talking about? Everybody makes mistakes. So shake your nose and say, don't be anxious, don't be anxious, don't be anxious. Part of the reason why the Bible says don't, uh, don't, don't, don't be anxious is because fear would replace faith. Fear will replace faith. And it is faith that makes the Lord be pleased with us. It's faith that makes the Lord pleased with us that we believe. So if you allow the place for anxiety, chances are you are now going to, you're creating a good room for fear. And fear will take the place of faith. So you will not have what it takes to please God. Are you in the house? Uh -huh. And it says what? So don't be anxious for uh, anything. Then it goes forward to tell us how to deal with things that are in our lives. Now, next point I'm saying is that when you don't pray, because it goes, it says what? But in what? Everything by prayer and petition. Then it says with thanksgiving. What does thanksgiving? Thanksgiving concludes, that, concludes on God's faithfulness. You go to God, you can do it. I'm trusting you. I thank you. What kind of posture are you going to have? Faith. You're looking unto God. Hallelujah. Amen. And he said, that's a posture you should have. Yeah. But in everything, by prayer and petition. Prayer and petition with thanksgiving. Then look at what it, the, the seven, it says, and the peace of God, which transcends every understanding, meaning that the peace of God, you can't understand it. Because God will give you a peace over something that hasn't yet changed. What it, what it does is that it changes your, posti your posture, even though the situation may not have changed. Yeah. So when people are crying, whatever, you are at peace. Uh, hey. hey. Shake your neighbor and say, neighbor. neighbor. Oh, shake, shake, shake your neighbor and say, neighbor, 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 neighbor. neighbor. You see, you are at peace. When people are worried, you are at peace. Everybody says, you are laughing. You are smiling. Why? And it says, because the peace of God comes towards garrison. Now, uh, God or garrison is, 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 a, is a term for, and it gives a picture of a guard. And the guard is talking about a military person. In, in other words, a trained person. So, a trained military person, peace is like that. That comes to, how do you call it? Why? Because you don't realize you are actually daily in the battle. It's a daily battle. I'm not making some sense, somebody. Yeah, it's a battle. Like I said, it's either between, either between light or darkness. There's a battle. That's why you must pray everything with thanksgiving so that the right military person will come and guard your mind. Keep your mind off from all unnecessary things. Look, one of the ways by which demons enter your life is when fear enters your life. Same thing is you stop being afraid of it. Very soon, a demon will enter your life. A demon will, it will walk into your life right now. 
Start being, so those of you that entertain some fears is unnecessary. You are afraid of uh, sp spider web. War gecko, unnecessary. What, what is that fear? War gecko. War gecko. Oh, be serious. You don't have a, 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 this thing, a, a slipper or something. <laughs> Something you can kill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, no. Me, the reason why me, I'm somehow afraid of snakes. <laughs> it, it's precautions. It's respect. It's respect. Because often, look, those guys, they are cunning. They can be here with us. And you don't know they are here. They don't make noise. They are cool. They have their own orientation in their head. So you have to give them respect. I, 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 I listened to, there was this news about this guy who traveled to India. You know the cobras? The black cobras that they, they, they play to and they are dancing. Yeah? He went to also draw clothes and play with it. The story is he's six feet under. He's six feet under. You, can, you couldn't tell when the snake, pow, that's it. So I give them healthy respect. Yeah. Are you with me? Yeah. When plenty people are there, I'll join them to kill it. <laughs> but look, the spider, and then you have, and Coco, they go, hey, yeah. and you're a man, and you're jumping on her. Yeah. Oh, best serious. Oh, best serious. Oh, best serious. If you're step by guy, say, that's the wrong thing to fear. That's the wrong thing. <laughs> It says, it says, it's cross. It cross and so what? Oh, best serious spider. If it's uh, because it cross, then be afraid of a, to a, a tortoise or something. Or That's even bigger. <laughs> yes, that's an excuse somebody says, say cross. That's why. Go on, guys. Are you serious? That's why I like the Chinese. Anything is, 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 is eatable. <laughs> it said, it said if, if, if Adam and Eve had been Chinese, we wouldn't have the problem here. The problem we have right now, we wouldn't have the problem. The snake would have been a meal. <laughs> I'm sure if the man had come to see the woman talking, he said, why are you talking with a meal? If you are near, if you are near, Kasa. <laughs> hey, are you in the house? Yeah. yeah, yeah. But we need our minds to be guarded. Guys, look, listen. It's one of the things that would ensure victory in our, in our world right now. Look, all manner of things are bombarding us. All manner. They are all suggestions. And most of it attacks who you are in Christ. You are not good enough. A fully functioning Christian that God has bought with his blood. All of a sudden now, you feel you are not tall enough. So now you start condemning yourself. <laughs> oh, he said, I'm, I become bald. So you're attacking yourself, so you are not good enough. And we take it as normal. But what we are doing is that we are taking, eroding our peace. So some of us can't waste. Some of you, the reason why you are believing God to increase your pay is so that God will give you enough money and 20% of it goes to cosmetics. 20 percent. Reason why some homes don't have peace because the woman will not let go of the 20 percent. He must go to cosmetics. She has to keep all the pulses close. <laughs> uh, that 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 uh, call, uh, uh, line on her face, nobody must see. The travel mark, nobody must see. Some of you, if you add money, you increase your bottles. I'm telling you, you got, because you have money. <laughs> Boss <of> Castle. <laughs> yeah, you get Boss Castle when you're coming to whom, to whom for, to whom does it belong to? <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
<laughs> Why? Because somebody is telling you a suggestion tells you you are not good enough. Yeah. Some of us guys, we are just waiting for them to bring our wig. Then we we'll start wearing our wig. Yeah. Go and do a weave on. Oh, I saw this video of this guy who <laughs> was removing, I think in, in I, I don't know whether lect, not lectures, uh, like the dining area or something. He was removing his dress. After I removed his dress, and the dress shifted the weave here. And you move. The lady was said, the lady said, oh, okay, the lady <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. Oh, remove your hair, everything. Remove everything. But now that's it. Men, and if they've succeeded. That's one fact. There are women who, who they, they said women take their husbands on Saturdays. Yeah. Appointment. Hey. Hey. So the women go and sit and wait because that thing usually takes time. It's not like it takes time. Say shaving and from near the glue. They will do it, then they will. Like the way he said, he said, like, you know that it's fake. <laughs> so ladies, you have to reach, when you reach up, they have to play with your hair. When he does it, that, say, okay, it might be fake. <laughs> yeah. Why? Because somebody say you are not good enough. I'm telling you, you need the peace of God to garrison your mind. The reason why some women are having sex in their relationship is because they feel they are not good enough until they have sex. Yeah. Some of you guys also think you are not men. Or that's what some men feel. You are not men enough until they have sex. You're crazy. Do you know what manliness is about? You're a big fool. You know what manliness is about? <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you're a big fool. I call the Bible, if you don't know, it's a big fool. Yeah. Do you know what manliness is about? It's far from sex. Manliness is far from sex. The responsibility and the burden that comes with manliness. Go ask all the men. If they give get yourself, can I be a woman? <laughs> so I'm a trust. <laughs> sure. The bill, they'll call you. Trouble, they'll call you. In law, they'll call you. Everything is you. Sometimes you want to say, oh, I think we are two in the marriage. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But it's you. Everything. When they are not happy, when the woman is not happy, it's you. Somebody said, trying to understand the woman is like God. Trying to guess the number seven, how it smells. <laughs> it's impossible to do. But it's the responsibility of the man to understand how seven smells like. <laughs> yeah. Make her happy. When you marry, she's not happy. You are the cause. It could be from a childhood, somebody, but you are the cause. It's not about sex. Shake the one that's if you are said by a guy, say, my young son coach him. It's not about sex. If you are said by a child, my young son coach him. It's not about sex. Hey. We are about to rise up to pray. Psalm 20 verse 4. Psalm 20 verse 4. May he give you what? The desires of your heart. And make what? Succeed. That's a prayer. The Lord will give us the desires of our hearts according to His way. Some of you here, if you wish, if, you had a, if, if everything works, you would have written a check of one million to, to see why. May the Lord give you the desires of your heart. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. For those that want to travel by heart without a plan, may the Lord keep you here. <laughs> that one that we need you, Lord, may you keep them here. Only release those that are necessary. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to say a good? No, may the Lord keep you here. 
Plant you and make you prosper here. Prosper, yeah. prosper here. Prosper here. You go for holidays. Yeah. That's actually the way our posture. That we go for holidays with the dollars. Yeah. So you go and meet them and you realize that we came there with dollars. Yeah. I even though we, we are chopping a couple of those CDs. <laughs> <laughs> no, a couple of those CDs, it's not the same as Mohammed CDs. No, no. yeah, the, 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 the value is different. It's not the same. <laughs> so even though we are chopping a couple of those CDs, we go there and we, we, are, we are having dollars. That's a blessing of the Lord. Yeah. If you are there, you are spending dollars, you are saying, what's the, what's the miracle in it? Yeah. It's dollars. Yeah. But when we spend dollars, yeah. yeah. That's a bigger miracle. Ghanaian spending dollars. Yeah. <laughs> one, of, one of, I don't know whether Elisa was telling me about this place where they transfer money to abroad for business. So came, the man became the wearing shorts. Came to try, change that one. This is for 500 or something. $100,000 or something. And just, there, relax the hand in his pocket. Or oh, send his cigar to abroad. Yeah. Some people are here, they are, they are doing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, all, it's not all abroad. It's not all abroad. Sometimes here, it's good. When it's necessary, you go. The Lord will release you when it's necessary. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Because if we leave here and we say God should grant all the desires, I think next week I have to come and I have to do outreach. <laughs> I do. We have to be realistic. I have to do outreach all the way. <laughs> All those that say they love me, they love America more. <laughs> so God, don't release them. Yeah, it's, it's a good prayer. Yeah. Amen. Amen. <laughs> so we are going to pray. I don't know what the desires on your heart. Some, I believe some of us have the desire that people will be saved. Your branches, things will turn around. People will be healed. Desire that will walk under the anointing. Are, are you with me? Uh -huh. We are going to pray. May he give you the desire of your heart and make all your plans succeed. Obviously, this one, you have to have a plan. What plan do you have? There's a plan to, see why we have a plan to build a resource center, a retreat center within two years. This plan, the Lord will make it succeed. So we are going to pray. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. Some of you have a deep-seated desire to walk away from certain addictions. Amen. May the Lord give you the desire of your heart. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Certain things must stop in your life. They can't be recurrent. How would you advise your son? If you walk in porn addiction now until you marry, how are you going to advise your son? Say, son, I do over two months. Say, what are you? Say, how are you going to be advised? Or you go and buy the oils and things for your son. No. Or you have to break it. And then you break it and say, son, it's possible to, to break it. Come and know that. Let me lay hands upon you. Hey, am I making some sense, somebody? Yeah. That's the way it works. I heard a story of, a, of these guys who, years ago, their friends told them that when they play the, the no, it wasn't a CD, the plate. You know the plate? The black one, the big one. When you play, when you played backwards, you hear the voice of the devil. And he brought you home and went to do that. A certain, a certain um, rock band, those days, they've always the devil has always been everywhere. So after he did so, the man was the pastor was sitting down. He was downstairs and he heard the son shouting and ran to him. He said, "Daddy, daddy, the devil is in my room." And then he said, look at the side, he said, you have to tell me how you got there in the first place. <laughs> and then he told him. And then the father said, ask the son to go and sleep in, a, in his room with the mother. And he said, when he entered, you could see a presence was there. He said, he spent that night driving out because the son had become a gateway for them into the household. The same things that we do, things that gateway into our lives, we have to drive them out. Because once you don't drive them out, the next generation is in line to inherit them. And the devil is very legal with these things. Very legal. It goes to God based on what God has said. That's a good lawyer. You said it too. Yeah. Very legal. So some things, and yet soon, you have to know the word of God, God's wills, God's, and then you have to insist on it. 
because he understands how to enslave, the same guy must learn to let, uh, leave you. Yeah. yeah. That's why when the guy shouted, say, I'm the righteousness of God, he said, you say you are the righteousness of God. He quotes him back to him what he said. To wonder what, he was wondering whether he knew what he was talking about. This month is a month of prayer and fasting. When are we starting? Tenth. The day of affection world, yeah. Tenth, we are starting to the end of the month. Hey, I thought we would rejoice and give God some praise. Hallelujah. Power is coming. So the power is coming. Grace is coming. Anointing is coming. There's a release. Hallelujah. Whatsoever has held you back. Ah, as you are entering a time of prayer and fasting, we are about to drive it back. You are going to drive it back. Where there has been so much lack over the generation, you are going to declare this lack is ending right now. Wherever you are, just rise up on your feet. Lift up your voice and just speak in the language of the Spirit. Come on, man. Lift up your voice, lift up your voice, lift up your voice. This is not a time for sleeping. This is not a time for being. This is a time to pray, 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 pray. Maybe you are here, you are you are not able to pray. Ask the Lord to give you the grace. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Kapaya da 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 baloti. Makapaya da baya. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Basha Tabayan de Ribadiho Satayani, Makoti in the Ribadiho Shabaya, Masu Takaya, Ribo do Ribadi Eka, Masapayani, Basha Banabania Sama Katabaya, Liko Taya, Masha da Kataya Maniho Satabaya. He kataya man he shaba le satabaya mashada kataya man hinda le kote ende rapa to e kapaya mashada rabariaka le suri badi he shama teandi ma katabaya le kapaya he kore badi ha shande re badi ho sabaya re kataya man he shaba ya a kataya man he sabaya le kote ende rapa to e badi he shaba ya ma ki kaliba katabaya ende le badi ho shaba ya he Kaya masa taya maka taya e kalo kaya ndi le badi ho shama le kataya pahandi la so taya maki kaliba katabaya la shara barabadi he sabaya e kote manshi tabaya la kataya kapaya la shara kataya mani he sab le kote le badi he shabaya le sataya mani le badi he kam la shaba kataya kataya le shara mani le badi he sabaya rapa taya Le shara bana bani he satabaya, le kote bani he shabaya, la satabaya mande katabaya, rapa kaya kapaya, la shara bana bani he sante de bani ho sabaya, le kote de ramani ho sabaya, le shabaya ande le bani he sabaya, raso tabaya mante de bani he shara bana bana ha, le sayande le katoe bani he sabaya, le shaba kataya bani he sabaya, le kande le katoe ne le bani he shabaya he kato e mande re bani he ropo to e mo ni ho shabaya ha kataya kapaya le shana bana bani he satabaya le shabaya kataya mani he dara bana bana le shana bana bana le sata kataya mani he shabaya le sataya mani he shabaya la sote e mande re bani he shana bana bani la sota baya man kiri bani he shana bana bana ra kataya mana le sota baya ha Rakando de bari he shana bari le so tamaha la pataya kapaya la shande le bari he sabaya le ko de re bari ho shana bana baha le sataya madenda ah kando le bari he shabaye sabaha man ko de bari ho sabai kante de bari he shana ha la kataya kapaya la kande le bari he shana baha ro ko de ro bari ho sabaha masita yande le bari he kataya kapaya la
Le 
Rebeka, Le Sota Bayande, Le Badihe, Shende, Le Badihe, Rapata Bahande, Le Kotere Badihe, Sabaha, Laka, Darabadihe, Shadabadihe, Le Kode Rebadihe, Kindi Rebadihe, Sande Rebaho Saha, La Shande Le Badihe, Akayande Le Badihe, Sabayande, Apo Rebadihe, Sante Rebadihe, Shabaha, Le Sote Baya Manche Rebadihe, Sab, Le Kapaya Kataya, Le Shande Le Badihe, Sabaha, Le Kende Rebadihe, Shadabadihe, Sabaha, La Kote Me Rapata Baha, La Shande Le Badihe, Kalabala Badihe, Sab, Le Kabara Bara Badihe, Shande, E Kohende Le Badihe, Sete Rebadihe, Kab, Le Shadabara Baduz Ante Rebaha, Rakataya, Ratoye Ende Le Badihe, Shadabadihe, Kab, Le Sapaya Ende Le Badihe. Hallelujah. We are going to pray in the same spirit of prayer. Pastor has taught us about prayerlessness. We are going to pray that the Lord will heal us from prayerlessness. We are going to declare that everything that has taken away the zeal to pray, the passion to pray, God will bring us back to that point. God will heal us. God will heal us. God will heal us from every form of prayerlessness. Just open your mouth and pray for a healing. Jesus told the church, remember the heights from which you've fallen and go back and do your first works. The first works of prayer, the first works, the things that led to fervency. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Pray in your understanding. Pray in the spirit. Ask God that he'll heal us. He'll heal us. That prayer will become a priority one more time. Prayer will become our number one goal. We'll go to prayer. We'll be men and women of prayer. Open your mouth. That the Lord will heal us. Katapala katapa. Randa balaba. Rada shadaba. Rada balabalaba. Shadabalaba. Randa balo. Shetelebe. Come on, come on. Don't stop praying. You can hold a neighbor's hand. Pray that the Lord will heal us individually and as a ministry from prayerlessness. That everything that has come in between our lives and prayer, God will take that thing away in the name of Jesus. That will become men and women of prayer. Come on, open your mouth. Pray the Lord heals us. The Lord heals us. He heals us. If it's laziness, we are praying the Lord will heal us from laziness. Ah, Every form of carnality, the Lord will heal us from all forms of carnality in the name of Jesus. Katapalosha, Rentepelekataya. A desire for worldly things, a desire for fame, a desire katapala kapa, randa shata paliantapa, for things that perish, that the Lord Himself will heal us, randa pala kapa, He'll even heal us from our past, he katapalia kapa, maybe our past is stopping us from praying today, we are praying katapaliantapa, that the Lord will heal us from anything that stops us from praying. Hey. Kata palia tapalia kapa, run tapalia kapalia kapa, run the shatapa. Lord, we need a healing. We need a healing. This Bible said, is anyone sick amongst you? He should pray the prayer of faith. Open your mouth. He kata palia kapa kata, he tell the palia kata, run the shalia kapa, he tell the palia kapa, run the kaliosa. Lord, heal us. Heal us from prayerlessness. Ah, heal us, heal us from everything that has taken the place of prayer. Run tapalia kapalia 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 kapa. Run tapala kata. Re kapalia kapalia kapa. Ikato shata. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Run tapalia kapa. Are there some desperate people in the house? Are there some people who want to see a turn around in their prayer lives? Run tapalia kapa. Run the shata palia kapa. Run the palia kapa, run the palosa. Hey, heal us, Lord, heal us, heal us from laziness, heal us, heal us from laziness, from all all works of the flesh, heal us from fornication, heal us, Lord, run the palia kapa, heal us, Lord, heal us, Lord, from the natural tendencies of the flesh. So we we'll come to the place of prayer, run the palia kapa, 
who come to that place you said in your word for we are a chosen generation a royal priesthood we are all priests unto you rantapalia kapaya rantapalia kapaya heal us lord ah, as priests who have who have left our duties bring us back to that point rantapalia kapaya rantapalia osa come on come on come on don't stop praying pray for healing rantapalia kapaya he said in his word the son of righteousness shall rise with healing in his wings oh he's he's over us this afternoon he's here with us and he's healing us he's healing us he's healing us of prayerlessness Hey, Ranta Pali Kataya, come on, come on, come on. Ranta Lele Katabeli Antapa, Ranta Pa. Where are the men and women of prayer? I Katapalia Kapa, Ranta Pali Kapa, Rada Salia, 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 Rada Salia. Yes, Lord. We are praying. For the spirit of prayer, the spirit of intercession, we are praying that God will raise us up as men and women of prayer. Pastor God has been sharing with us that we should ask, we should ask. It's, it's, not, it's just not admiring people who pray. We want to pray ourselves. We, we don't want to talk about prayer without praying. We don't want to be people who know so much about prayer, but we don't pray. We are going to pray right now, and we are going to ask for the spirit of intercession. In this last days, if there's something we need, it's men and women of intercession that will give ourselves to prayer. We will give ourselves to prayer. The apostle said, we want to give ourselves to prayer and to the doctrine of the word and to the study of the word. We are going to pray that just like the early church prayed. We are going to be men and women of prayer. Everybody, everybody will be a man and a woman of prayer. If there's something that will mark our lives, we will be people who pray. Just open your mouth right now and pray that Lord Jesus, we ask for the spirit of intercession, the spirit of prayer, the spirit of prayer, the spirit of prayer, the spirit of prayer is coming upon us. It's coming upon us as we even pray. As we even pray, He said, Is anyone thirsty? He should come. He should come. He should come and drink freely. Open your mouth. Do it for prayer then let's open our mouth and pray and God is filling us with a spirit of prayer right now come on come on we shall be men and women of prayer come on come on hey. come on Randa Palia like how the early church prayed Randa Palia Kapaya who pray forth revivals who pray forth revivals who pray forth revivals our communities are changing because we are praying our families are changing because we are praying hey, come on open your mouth not just men who pray but men with a fervent heart Bible says the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous man availeth much we shall be fervent in spirit Bible says we should be fervent in spirit serving the Lord open your mouth that we will be fervent we will be men and women of prayer that after this meeting we cannot help but to pray wherever we walk praying always with all forms of prayer praying always with all forms of prayer praying always with all forms of prayer open your mouth pray until you feel like the spirit of intercession is upon you it's upon us it's upon you it's upon us hey now we will be transformed in prayer Katatapala Kapaya, Rantapalia Kapa. Where are the intercessors? Where are the intercessors? Where are the men and women? Where are the watchmen of our days? Where are the watchmen of our days? Where are those who are weeping between the porch and the altar? I Katapalia, the grace to pray is here. The grace to pray as many as desire, as many as desire. Open your mouth. There's a spirit, there's a yearning, there's a stirring, there's a stirring. 
stirring, there's a stirring, there's a stirring. Bible says on the great day of the feast, the last day, Jesus stood and said, Hey, come, come and drink. And anyone who drinks out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Hey, the Holy Spirit coming upon us. We shall be men who supply life. We shall be carriers of life because we are men of prayer. We are carriers of life because we are men of prayer. Hey, katapata kapaya. We are the intercessors. We are the intercessors. Begin to pray. Begin to pray for prayer mantles in our generation. Prayer mantles. Hey, the early church prayed and Bible said where they were shook. Where they were shook. There was a change even in the natural because of their prayer. We shall become like those men who prayed. Who prayed. Bible says the glory of the latter shall be greater than the former. In the early church prayed that much. Hey, we are men of prayer. We are women of prayer. The least amongst you shall pray for hours. The least amongst you shall pray for days. Where are the men? Where are the men who reside in the closet? Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. We are becoming men and women of prayer the spirit of intercession instead of gossiping we pray instead of fornicating we pray instead of wasting our time we pray Bible says Katapala Kapalia Kapa in the days of his power the people shall be willing the people shall be volunteers we are volunteers unto the Lord we are men and women of prayer Ah, we are watchmen we are watchmen. We are contending with the enemy at the gate. We are contending with the enemy at the gate. Before we speak, we pray. Before we preach, we pray. Before we sing, we pray. Before we counsel, we pray. Men, we are the men of prayer. We are the A to J members who are rising to prayer. We are the La Famille members who are rising unto prayer. Come on now. Come on now. Rantapalia. We are the Levite members. We are the I testify members hey we are carrying we are carrying prayer we are carrying prayer we are carrying prayer wherever we find ourselves we are men of prayer given to prayer we speak prayer we talk prayer we pray we pray come on up in your mouth Come on, come on now. Pray, pray, pray. You are not tired. You are not tired. You are not tired until we get there. Until we get there. The prophet said he saw the water at his ankles. He saw the water at his knees. He saw the water at his shoulders. Until he got to a place where he was drowning in the same water. He was was talking about the Holy Ghost and the move of God in these days. Hey, we shall be like that. We are men who are working in an abundance of prayer. Renta palakapa, renta palakapa, renta palakapa, renta palakapa, renta palakapa. We are the men who are carrying the mantles of John Wesley. We are the men who are carrying the mantles of John Knox. John Knox said, Give me Scott. Scotland, or I perish. May we be that desperate. May we be men who are desperate in prayer. May we be men who are desperate. Hey, who are the desperate ones? Who are the ones who are not sleeping? Who are giving themselves to prayer? Hey, may that spirit come upon us. Ah, instead of sleeping, we'll pray. Instead of sleeping, we'll pray. Instead of playing, we'll pray. Instead of playing, we'll pray. Instead of playing, we'll pray. He can tapalia, run tapalia kapa, run tapalia kapa, run tapalia, run tapalia. I see prayer in our branches. Hey, we are praying. Presidents, we are praying. Vice presidents, we are praying. Directors, we are praying. Akatoya Taya Katoya. Rakatoya Kataya. Pastor Ross said the story of Paul with us. Bible said on the island. They were gathering fire 
the gathering sticks to set a fire and the serpent held on to the hand of Paul. Fire always brings out the serpent. Perhaps we've lived lives and this thing has killed the fervency amongst us and different things have come to take the place of prayer. We are going to pray and we are going to cry out unto God. We are going to ask for the spirit of fervency. That the, the fervency will come so much, fire will come so much that the things that have taken the place of prayer will leave. Things like gossip, things like fornication, the things will live on their own accord. You see, nobody had to call for the snake. The fire took it out. We are going to pray for a certain fervency. We are going to pray for a certain fervency, a certain passion for Jesus. Jesus said, a zeal for your house has consumed me. There was a greater fervency. There was a fervency in that. We are going to pray and we are going to agree that fervency comes back to us. Fervency will not be people who say that we used to pray. Will be people who say we are praying now. We always say that we pray more today than we used to pray yesterday. Begin to pray that fervency will come. That everything that has taken the place of God, whether it's gossip, hey, whether it's hurt and pain, we are going to open our mouth right now and we are going to cry out unto God and we are saying that Lord, may you set us a place. May you set us a place one more time. May you set us on fire. It's one thing singing about the Lord setting you on fire, but it's another when you have a desire behind the song. That will say after the third of June that at this catalyst, the Lord touched us. At this catalyst, the Lord touched our lips. At this catalyst, the Lord touched our hearts. And we gave ourselves to prayer because faith she came. Hey, come on. Open your mouth. Bible says, as they prayed, they appeared as it were clothing tongues of fire. There's a manifestation. There's a manifestation. Come on, open your mouth. Hey! Come on, open your mouth. We are there. We are there. We are there. How desperate are you? How desperate are you, my sister? How desperate are you, my brother? How desperate are you, branch president? Hey, Katapala Kapaya. Men of conviction. Men of conviction. Rantapaya. Come on. Come on. Come on. Fervency. 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 In prayer. Rantapalia Kapaya. In our lives. Oh. Oh yes, Ranta Palia Kapa, Ranta Palia Kapa, Ranta Palia Kapa, Ranta Paya, Ranta Pa, Ranta Pa, Ranta Pa, Ranta Pa, Ranta Pa, Ranta Pa, Re Katayakata, Re Katayakata, Re Katayakata, Re Katayakata, Re Katayakata, Re Katayakata, Re Kataya, come on, don't stop, come on. Don't stop. Come on, don't stop. We are praying. Don't care about who is on your left and who is on your right. These are desperate times. You are not a spectator. You, you need something. You want something. You want to see a change. Katampaya. You did not come to look at anybody. Katampalios. You came because you want to lay hold. You want to lay hold. Paul said that I may lay hold for that which you lay hold of me. Ratampa. You call your capa, Ranta Palia, 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 come on, come on, come on, come on, Ranta Palia, Capa. Ratatata, 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 Ratapa, 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 Ikatapa, 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 Ikatapa. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Come on. Push in prayer. Hey. Raka palio shata. I call you enter. I enter. I enter palo shit. Oh. 
Oh, we'll be fervent again. 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 Who are these that fly? Who are these that fly? Round the fire. They are the fervent ones. They are the fervent ones. Who are these that fly? They are the fervent ones. Those who wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Those who wait, there's a renewal. There's a renewal. I tell you, there's a renewal. There's someone. If it is as though it's fire, it's fire coming up, coming up. Come on, open your mouth. You are prophetess. Open your mouth. Prophesy. Open your mouth. The Lord is raising you hey, as a general of prayer. 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 Come on, don't stop. Run to power. Run to power. Run to power. Run to power. Come on. Come on, come on, like a rush and mighty wind. It's here. I, I see heaven crash upon us. I see heaven crash upon us with fervency. Hey, with fervency. It shall be said, Who are these agent men? They shall be said, They will do say of us. We are men. We are men of fervency. These agent ones are men of fervency. These agent ones are men of fervency. See, this agent wants, this agent wants, this agent wants, who know the time, 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 that it's time to pray, it's time, it's time to pray, it's time to pray, come on, don't stop, 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 they don't tarry long and they whine. Those who tarry long at the wine, they come with the redness of eyes. With the redness of eyes, and there's some hungry people who want to tarry some more. Who want to tarry some more? Who want to tarry some more? Who want to tarry some more? Where are the hungry people? Where are the hungry ones? Where are the hungry ones? Where are the hungry ones? Run, tell your sata. Run, tell your sata. Kelebe, 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 Kelebe. Weak ones are becoming strong because we are becoming men of prayer. Weak ones are becoming strong because we are becoming men of prayer. Hallelujah. I mean, Pastor Oda asked us to write what we desire from some. 20 verse 4, and I wrote in my book that I want to live to all of God's full expectation of me. That is my desire. That everything God has called me to do. And I know that is your desire. That's why you've come for Catalyst. That you want to live a life to the full expectation of God for you. And we are going to pray. This is our need. Our need. We are going to pray that Lord give me the desire to live for you for, to the full expectation to your full expect not that I want to do better than my neighbor not that I want to do better than that branch but I want to do what you've called me to do I want to do it Paul said that I may lay hold on to that for which Christ has laid hold of me he said there's a reason why Christ laid hold of me there's a reason why he separated me he said that I want to fulfill it I, I want to make sure that I accomplish it so I'm going to pray and this is our desire this is our desperation. This is our desperation. And want to start from this, this, this afternoon. Hey, that as the spirit of prayer is coming, we leave this place as urgent men. As urgent men. As fervent men. As urgent men. As fervent men. Come on. Hey, come on, come on, come on, come on. There's a reason. There's a reason why you were called. There's a reason why you were separated. There's a reason why you were chosen. And we are praying. There's a reason why CY was established. We are not here to compete with anybody. We are not here to do better than another ministry. We are not here to make a name for ourselves. But there's a reason for which Christ lay hold on us. There's a reason for this vision. And we are praying that Lord, until we see the reason why you called us, we will not stop. We keep going. 
going we keep going we keep going we keep marching we keep marching come on we keep marching Kola Tatelia Katea Come on pray I said don't look at anybody we are not here to observe other people we are here to lay hold onto that for which Christ himself lay hold of us come on don't stop praying don't stop praying come on push in prayer when you feel tired it's time to pray when you think you cannot pray some more it's time to pray it's time to push in prayer hey come on come on prayer is a sign of our desperation prayer is a sign it's a reflection of our faith bible says if the son of man comes will he find faith will he find men who are still believing will he find men who are desperate will he find men who wants the Lord? Will he find men? Come on, please don't wait for the next prayer topic. Push in prayer. There's something happening. Everybody, 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 come on. Oh, Rata pala kapa, rata pala kapa, raka pala kapa, raka pala kapa, raka pala kapa. Mante, 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 mante. Oh, sete. Kata ta 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 ta. Kole tete. Rata paya, renta pa, renta so, renta le, renta pe, renta ya, rapa ya, oka te, renta ya, raka pa, reka ya, renta pe, renta pa, raka pa, rata ya, raka, rata ya, raka, rata, raka, rata, raka, rata, kate, 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 raka, raka, raka. Raka, 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 raka. We are going to pray. I believe the Lord is bringing us to a place where we'll be effective ministers of God. Where will be people who take our place? I mean, what as Pastor already said, in my heart, I'm just looking at different things. The fact that people stand for evil, people are able to stand and they go. They go far with evil and for evil. We are going to pray that we we'll receive a certain baptism from the Lord, a certain enablement, a certain grace. You know, today, my wife and I were, we were discussing something. I told her, you know, when I look at my personal life, this is my, one of my things I say about myself. I said that I am so far from perfection. I told her, look, I can preach, I can say many things, I can encourage, but I can counsel. I said, you are me personally. I'm far from perfection. But, you know, one thing that can help us is the Holy Spirit. One person who can help us. And we are going to pray. As we are praying, I believe that some of us are here, you are thinking about your past. You look at your many flaws and you feel that God cannot use you. Last week, we were watching a, a, a movie. I mean, um, on Sunday, and two things that stood out for me. One of them was saying that, look, God, it's as though God is specialized at using the flaws of men or men who are flawed. Yeah. And so that it's actually, it's almost like pride when you think that God cannot use you because of your flaws and because of your weaknesses. Yeah. You see, he said that it's God who can use us. It's God who can use us. We are going to pray that we have a certain enablement, a certain grace. Listen, we are not saying something will happen tomorrow. We are saying that this afternoon right now. There's a certain grace. There's a certain enablement. There's a certain impartation of the spirit that is going to take, it's as though our weakness doesn't exist anymore. It's going to so consume us. It's going to take away our many imperfections. Our many fears. Pastor, that's spoken about fear. We are going to pray that there's going to be a baptism. Look, if this is our last prayer topic, it's fine. And we are waiting. And we are saying that, Lord, until you come, until you come, until you come, until you come, 
Bible says they grow from strength to strength each of them that appears in Zion you are praying right now and you are declaring the strength of God the impartation of God the Holy Ghost upon us a certain baptism Bible says God said in his word I'll pour out my spirit upon all flesh once you are flesh you qualify for this outpouring look beyond your floor and look to the one who can do all things open your mouth and pray for a certain impartation a fresh baptism a certain a certain grace that is coming upon us a certain grace a certain grace a certain grace if you are sitting down where you are not sick you can just rise to your feet with me if you are sitting and you are not sick you can rise to your feet with me and let's cry out unto God Bible says if two of you are agree as touching anything on earth it shall be done in heaven open your mouth right now and begin to pray that Lord for every flaw in my life I receive an abundance of grace for every weakness Bible says where sin did abound how much more more grace there was more grace come on Bible says he gives grace to the humble humble people pray people of humility are men of prayer look to God and say Lord when I look at myself and I look at the call upon my life I cannot do it in my own capacity so I need you I need you I need a new baptism I need a new release of grace come on open your mouth don't be tired I want you to pray passionately open your mouth and pray don't be slow don't be less come on open your mouth everybody's praying men we are praying women we are praying go ahead go ahead go ahead go ahead go ahead go ahead hey. come on 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 Kapapayata Rekatusa Ikapete Pene Nenono Ileko Sepaya Are Kapato Akapapaya Ikete Menono Ariese Kapaya Tusa E Kapuse Pene Menonosa Every bottleneck is released. Makapa, rekapa, hey! The flow, the flow, the flow, the move of the spirit. Akapaya, hateshe, rakapaya doshe, andabaya. Every hard hearing of the spirit. Katosha, anything that has blocked your hearing, anything that has blocked your hearing, right now we remove it right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Kapate, in this month, in this month, in this month, in this month, you shall hear, you shall sense, you shall hear, you shall sense. Hey, kapa, epele, iriyoketepe, apayatata, aneme no shakapa. In this month, matosa, je kapatuka, you shall see the steps of angels. Madose kapa, areke menenosa, are tapaya. Come on, lift up your voice, apaya tataya. Polono no mo sapanda na na ma makapa arataya 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 e katosha e the tongues your tongues are changing your tongues are changing and empowerment are kapatosha you're going to the next realm the next level the next realm the next level receive grace grace to fast grace to fast grace to fast in this month you're going to fast you're going to fast hey kakapaya pa are kapanda amana nana ba are katutepe are tepelenosa akapaya po e pale de belosa atataya pa akapaya ta akapaya ta ande periosa ike pendana imalabosa are sataya hey makapa intercession the spirit of intercession the spirit of intercession makapaya na come on come on come on come on come on come on 
I see you prayer walking. I see you prayer walking and decreeing the will of the Lord. I see you prayer walking. Kapande areshepa ikatosha antayata ikapapaya ipolodosi iriete menenosa akatayata. Every spirit of heaviness is lifted. The Holy Ghost is lifting every spirit of heaviness. Heaviness. It was an attack from the from the enemy, an attack from the enemy over you. Spirit of heaviness. Anytime you are going to pray, you feel heavy. Receive the lifting of the Lord right now in the name of Jesus. Kapayadesha. Kapayadosha. Kama na 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 ha. Aya ya 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 paposa. A kapaya a re kapaya e palodosha e pandada ha a katesa a te perio e be. Come on, come on, come on, Kaya Tosha Bayana. Rakapaya, epaya, resataya, akapaya, da 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 ha. What you've not been able to do, an enablement is coming. Grace 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 is coming. It's from your inner man. It's from your inner man. Sometimes you feel like shouting. Sometimes you feel like screaming. Hey, katapa ikependo e paye tapa resi kanosa atayi pe ene no onde beri oseke ilo se kapaya ye aye ma kapaya da ba ya da 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 ba ha. Come on, come on, come on. The giants are falling. 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 The giants are falling in the name of Jesus. We bind the strong men, the strongholds, the strongholds, the strongholds, the strong man in your life. That evil strong man, we bind. We bind as you shake yourself, as you shake yourself, as you shake yourself in prayer. We bind every strong man. We bind every strong man. We bind every ancient strong man. Come on, 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 come on. Ayayayayayayayayayaba. Ayabala da 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 ba ya dosa. Rika ba ya da ba ya da ba.
passion of a mighty wing like the rush Come on, let it flow, come on. Like the rushing. Come on, come on, come on. Whatever is in your belly, let it out, let it out, let it out, let it out, let it out. Let it out. Let it out. Like the Russian, like the come on, Kapaya daha, pray Kapaya, come on, na na Your the spirit inside of you, Kapaya da, is locked with the Holy Ghost. Come on, man, Kapaya, Rata Paya, Rakata Taya, Re Kamanda da da maha, Rakaya da maha. We have to get to the overflow. We have to get to the overflow. You 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 have to get to the overflow. Push. Push to the overflow. Kaya da 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 ha. Ah, ya man da 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 dosa. Re kapaya. E kaya da 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 ha. Come on, that's where there's more grace. That's where there's more grace. Come on, push to the overflow. Push to the overflow. Push to the overflow. Kaya de. E. Ah, kaya da 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 ha. Belly enough is not enough. Belly enough is not enough. Ra kaya dosa. E kapaya. Get to the overflow of the spirit. Get to the overflow of the spirit. Get to the overflow of the spirit. And that place you know you are not praying. It's the Holy Ghost praying. It's the Holy Ghost praying. It's the Holy Ghost praying. Makaya de de Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Let's drink deep. Drink deep, drink deep, drink deep, drink deep. Kapaya, e kapaya. God is calling us an intercessor, an intercessor, an intercessor to change, to change things. Eh, makaposa, areke pe donosa, e kapaya da. Push, leaders, push, push in prayer, push in prayer, push in prayer, push in prayer. Kapaya, de 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 mo santa kapaya da. Areka ya ayetete e kapaya dosa e kapata areka ya e mananosa kapaya. Aya ya pata ya ya kapaya re kapaya akatosa apate ya e kapanda ila paya grace 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 unto prayer grace unto intercession. Grace of God, Makaya, Are Sapaya, E Kapapaya, Amanosa. Let the oil come, let the oil come, let the oil come, let the oil come, Makapeka, Iriose Pateta, Ayapaya. Let it be a staring, 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 an awakening, an awakening, an awakening, an awakening. Come on, pray, Kapaya, do Sataya. Aya papa ya pa, an awakening of God. Re mano sha pa ya pa ya, ye ka pa ya pa ya, ye ka pa ya ta, a te ta pa ya, a re ka pa ya, a jo sha ta ya, e ka pa ya ta, a ta pa ya, a te bele bele be, e pa ya jo sha, e ria sha ta, e pa la de be a, e pa la de, e a te ta, a ya ya pa, a ya ka pa jo si, e ka pa ya ta ya ta ya ta, a pa ya te. Emanonosa, arelebe, ilebe, ilebe, ayosha tataya. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on.
Come on, come on, come on, like the re rational mind. Come on, come on, like the rational mind. Come on, come on, back up by Adabaha. Come and feel our hearts was known again like a rushing over my ceiling, like the rushing of the mighty wind, like the rushing over my Like the rushing, like the rushing over my sea wind. Come and feel our hearts again. Come and feel our hearts again. Like, like a rushing. One more time, like the rushing of a mighty wind, like the rushing over my wind, like the rushing, like the rushing over my wind. Come and feel, come and feel our One more time, like the rushing of the mighty wind, come on, like the rushing of the mighty wind, like the rushing, come on, like the rushing of the mighty wind, come and feel our heart, come and feel our heart. We declare like a river that has overflowed. Come on, like a river, Lord, like a river that has overflowed. Like a river, come on, like a river that has overflowed. Come on, come. Come and feel our hearts once more. Come on, like a river that all over this place that declare like a river that has overflowed, like a river, Lord, like a river that has overflowed, like a river, like a river that has. Come and feel our heart Come and feel our heart Once more Like the river Like the All over this place let's declare Let it overflow Let it overflow Let it overflow Let it go. Oh. 
Just lift up your voice and just thank the Holy Spirit. Just thank Him. Just thank Him. Just thank Him for His touch. Thank Him. Thank Him for the grace. Thank Him for the release. 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 the release of the Holy Spirit. There's grace here. There's grace here. I don't be what Jesus. I don't be what Jesus. I, I sense the Holy Spirit that is wants to minister to people. There's a grace here. There's a grace. There's a, an unusual grace to do what you have not been able to do. There's grace. There's such a release. It's just, it's just a release. Come on. Tap into it and say, Lord, I, really, I receive the grace to do. I receive the grace to do this. I receive the grace. Just open up my mouth and say, Lord, what I've never been able to do from today. Come on. Come on. Come on. 
what a grace, what a grace, what a grace, what a release. What a release, there's a release, there's a release, there's a release, there's a release. Maya, yaya, yaya, Mosa. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Speak in the language of the spirit. You've never spoken before. Speak in the language of the spirit. The grace is here. Just open up your mouth and speak it, speak it, speak it, speak it, speak it. Hey, kato sapa, he kate semendo no sapa. Grace to walk holy. Grace to walk holy. Grace to walk holy. Grace to 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 to, to hold your vessel, your body, in honor of God. Come on. Ah, yapa. Grace to lay hands upon the sick. Grace to lay hands upon the sick. Grace to lay hands upon the sick. That they will be healed. 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 Kayana na no sepe keperio tapa. Hayato satapa are kapondi eperio te pa yapa are katosa akapa grace to preach the gospel 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 in an unusual way to see the crowd coming to see the crowd coming they are coming release there's a release there's a release kapaya de mono sataya dadaha receive receive the grace to walk bold, 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 bold. Courage, Makaya da 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 Gift of the Spirit, release, release, release. There's a release. Receive, manda da da moshaka, hakaya, hatepa. Activation, activation of the gift, makapa. Release the grace to stand in front of people and speak. Receive the grace to stand in front of people and speak. Receive the grace to stand in front of a crowd and speak. Receive that grace, kaya tosha. Ha paya to sapa aye tapa aye tapa akapa the grace to increase things the grace to increase what God has given unto you it's been little for too long receive the grace to multiply grace to multiply grace to multiply receive the grace to multiply the things that God has put in your hands receive the grace to multiply ka paya to sakaya The second Adam, a quickening spirit. 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 Receive the quickening of the Holy Ghost. Receive the quickening of the Holy Ghost. Receive the quickening of the Holy Ghost. Come by Adam.
May you see what you have not seen before. May the Lord increase you on every side. Ah, from today you will not struggle in your walk with God. From today you will not struggle with your walk with God. May the Lord renew you. 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 Ah, receive the refreshing of the Holy Spirit. Ah, ya paya da 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 maha. Oh, receive the refreshing of the Lord. Ah, maka. I am a rule. Ah, man, da 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 ba ya da da ba ya dos. life i speak over you you shall not die young you shall not die young none shall die young none shall die young none shall die young in the mighty name of jesus you shall not die young in the mighty name of jesus mortality is swallowed by life right now in the name of jesus oh yes 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 declare i shall not die young declare 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 wherever you are declare i shall not die young I will live to fulfill the work of the Lord. Open up your mouth and declare in the name of Jesus. You have the grace to live your life in full. Come on, declare in the name of Jesus. Don't think living is automatic. Hey, your dream shall not be cut short. Your dream shall not be cut short. Receive the grace to see the fullness of the dreams and the desires God has put in your heart in the name of Jesus. Come on, declare, 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 declare. Kapayadesa. The things in my hands shall not fail. They shall not fail. They shall not fail. But they are the life of God. They are the Zoe of God. They are the life of God. Come on, declare in the name of Jesus. You shall not fail. You are not permitted to fail. There's no failure in your DNA. You carry the DNA of the Spirit. You carry the DNA of Jesus. Declare, I shall not fail. Receive grace to walk in abundance. Receive grace to walk in abundance. Receive grace to walk in abundance from now onwards in the name of Jesus. I see Grace is overflowing. Grace is overflowing. Grace is overflowing. The grace is overflowing. And by this you shall reign. By this you reign. By this you reign. By this you reign. By this you reign. In the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, ya kapaya da balaha. Hey. Nobody will drive you away from your calling. Nobody nor nothing will drive you away from your calling. Nobody or nothing will drive you away from the things God has called you for. Come on, lift up your voice and declare, nobody is driving me away from it. Oh. we thank you we thank you we thank you the overflow of your spirit and of grace thank you Lord Lord thank you for what you have shared 
Thank you for your word. Thank you for grace. Thank you. We love you, Lord. We rejoice in your work, O oh God. We thank you. And we give you all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name. Lord shall say amen. Come on, let's give the Lord a shout. 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 Give someone a high five. Give someone a high five. Tell them something has begun. Something is broken. Something is stirred up. Come on, come on, come on. Let's take, let's take our seats in God's presence. It's time for us to give generously unto the Lord. And let's welcome the ambassadors to help us take our ambassador. Let's make a joyful noise to Jesus Christ. <laughs> Thank you. Master on my own faith, through the ask my ignorance, nobody there for guidance, trusted in my own strength. That's me regretting in the race inspired by my flesh, all the speed and nothing but trotting. On certain parts of my host, anxious by your upright, living as a far just so you got that right. I was just being religious, but got to see through this foolish pride, show me what I like to say. Look into my word, I got you in there. I got you. Look into my word, I got you in there. I got you. Look into my word, I got you in there. I got ya. Look into my word, I got you in there. I got ya. Listen, ring the alarm, ring the alarm. Joey back in the trenches with a shovel in his palm. Off my high horse, ready to die for the same thing I live my life for. We the prime targets of this prime cost. Snatch these souls from the ditches, feed them to the churches to turn them into fishes of men. Till our whole life is spent, we stay scheming, loving y'all till you all repent. And religion see shame on you, you act a fool. You tell us to be cool and stay passive through it. No fruit till it's there, no truth in you. You stay clean on the other, but inside is doom. No trick or treating, real fact is what I'm spitting. Joey got the word of fire like a narcissist. Beam me through this dark abyss, God over everything. I'm passing this year, we give you truth, no counterfeit. I got ya. Look into my word, I got you in there. I got ya. Look into my word, I got you in there. I got ya. Look into my word, I got you in there. I got ya. Life jugo size not enough to be robots. Then before I met the Christ, man, I lived my life like a robot. Journey to the purgatory, good, I just burned. But the gospel hit my ears and it became an earworm. Straight in my crooked ways, bruh. Now I'm upright, rap to shine Christ. Bright, not because I rap tight. Cause it can surprise spike life, so what your life like? Cause it's a good ambition to aspire to be Christ like. See what the Lord did, they blew my mind off Before I sign off, want you to know what life's an eye store We fix you up so much, all eyes can take their eyes off It's glory, so we see whenever we just roll our eyeballs Look into my word, I got you in there I got ya Look into my word, I got you in there I got ya Look into my word, I got you in there I got ya Look into my word, I got you in there. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. Uh, look into my word. You 
Amen. I got you. Let's go. Look into my word. I got you in there. Look into my word. I got you in there. Ah. Uh, look into my word. I got you in there. I got you. Hallelujah. God bless you, ambassadors. Okay, so there are certain things, um, for the announcement, I need you to pay attention to them. One, come discovered. So come discovered is from the 16th to 18th. Rate student 25, 250. And workers uh, 300. You are supposed to make your payments in your branches. Uh -huh. You know the way we do it. Right. So, um, yeah, you have to make payments to your branch. Um, President, um, come discovered is for gifted people. Um, <laughs> come here. Yeah. And they are shepherds, yes. Gifted people and they are shepherds. <laughs> the shepherds are supposed to be there. Yeah. So branch president, vice president, and listen, you are supposed to because all those that sing on your platform, do anything, spoken word on your platform, they have to be at this camp. Play instrument must be there. Are you guys with me? Uh -huh. We believe that CY is a very gifted place. And gifts, remember, gifted people can be notorious. The first rebel was a gifted person. Uh -huh. Gift, gift as a way of making you feel, you feel invincible and indestructible, and you think you're on top of the world. You can't really see them in the world all the time. Recently, I was thinking, I was like, I, I, um, I, I don't know how many of you, most of you may know I've known Tina Tena. Tina Tena, one of the, said one of the interviews, latter part of a year, she said she used to think that their body was indestructible. Not in a negative way. She's a woman who has survived abuse and all. And at 70, this lady will wear heels and dance and even young people, 25 years cannot match her. But she's dead. When you see this one died. And so, so I was like, ah. So all those new ones that are coming thinking they are indestructible, can't they learn from the ones ahead who are dying? <laughs> you get it? But the thing about your gift, especially when it's on demand, it blinds you. And that's what happens to every gifted person. Once your gift is known and it's on demand, it puts you in a certain space. That's why we are saying that come and surrender quickly. Let's teach you how to surrender before your gift will put you out there and will destroy you. And remember, once your gift is on demand, people will ask you, but there will come a time where your gift will not be in demand and again. And that's one of the things that also destroy gifted people when they are no more in demand. Because remember, as for the world, and as for people who look for the newest, the latest, and uh, yeah, freshest. So whether you see those in the world, shut out, oh, that time will come and pass. You see, he's, he's even there now, a new one, because there was a sheriff. While he's also there, a new one is about to come. That's the way it works. So don't, don't, don't let your gift enter into your head. Are you making some sense? Yeah. Uh -huh. So listen, we even need those gifted media or technology, um, technical, because there are certain things that we have to do. There are certain workshops, some things that we have to align. And also we teach you how to present your gift and what are the vital things. This year we're going to have some workshops in we're going to look at some of the things.
things that um, you do. So please, President, you are required to make sure that all your gifted people are there and you yourself, you are there to make sure that they are listening. Since the two of you are listening, when you come, you can make the demand on them. But if you don't know what they want to hear, how do you make a demand of them? That's why you are required to be there. Are we good? Yeah. Okay. Two, we have Camp Lifeguard. <laughs> now, Camp Lifeguard is our catalyst for July. So there's no catalyst here in July. In July, we're all going to Camp Lifeguard because this is, we, we, we take a catalyst to camp, and that's Lifeguard. Are we good? Hey, I can, are you in the house? The way I look at some of you, I see your face, I am hearing it. We don't, we don't do catalysts in July. So July 21st to 23rd is Camp Lifeguard. Wow. And do you, have, do, do you have a place in mind? The same place, Tema. So it's um, Tema Salvation Army. Are they registering now? There's come a time when they will register. Come here. The list have gone now. Okay. So you are all supposed to now. This camp is for everybody that is serving. Everybody that serves. So for instance, Camp Discovered is for gifted people. Camp Lifeguard is for everybody that is serving. So at Camp Lifeguard, both gifted, um, <laughs> everybody, we are supposed to be there. There is something profound about camp yeah. where you are not going back home mm -hmm. and you are just there yeah. and keep hearing the word. Yeah. Pray. Fellowship. It really transforms. All of us that have loved the ministry is because we went to camp. Yeah. As of our people come to camp and then they realize, oh, the ministry, this is actually what God is doing. Because over there, the Lord will show you better. Are you guys with me? So let's all go to camp. I know some people's uh, fear is whether when you come and bath, when you come there and bath, everybody will look at you bath. It's not true. <laughs> Put away your fear. Somebody will see you snoring when you're asleep. Please, that person is also snoring when they're asleep. So put out. There are all manner of reasons why people don't go to camp. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. I think it's because you didn't go to boarding house. Because if you are going to boarding house and see the worst, <laughs> camp will be the best. <laughs> are you? <with> me? <laughs> So come to come, come to come. Put away your pride. Let's go. Look at one next year. Put away your pride. And let's go. As in, is it because of money? What's the solution? Go and pray and ask. Your Heavenly Father will make provision. Does it make sense? So we are looking forward to seeing all of you at what? Camp. Tell about all of us. We are going to camp. We are going to come. I can't hear you. We as announced so all of us are going to come. So camp lifeguard is twenty first to twenty third July. Camp discovered is sixteenth to eighteenth June. Then we have. Let me announce dance mania. Yeah. Okay. Oh, let's do dance dance mania. Last year's dance mania was really good. Let's, let's appreciate it. It was, it was good. So, they are building on this year. Dance mania is 6th July. 6th July. Yeah. 2023. North K. It's North Kanishi's major program. But it's their program. Let me know if it's bad. And it is also the platform for dancers. We, we try to structure in such a way that there's always a major platform for every uh, peer ministry. Some of you, you won't pay attention, and then when it's, it's time for poetry people, you want to come and dance on it. <laughs> Some platforms, they are not meant for you. 
Dance Mania, there's a platform for all your dancing. We are even going to gather there because of your dancing. So join the dancing. See, is it praise? It's, it's praise the head. Uh, uh -huh. So see, praise. Yeah, yeah, you dance and all that. You have ambition. Or you have a dream of dancing. Go and see him. Uh, go, go and see him. And then we'll prepare. We also want to listen. One of the things that we have to, we are going to, I'm going to institute that every major program is a crusade. Every major program is a crusade. Yeah, let's put our hands together. So we have to put every effort to make sure that souls are there and we use the program to win souls. Does it make sense? Yes. Uh -huh. So, and of K, where they, are you guys so used in the same place? It's a good open space. It's, yeah, last year I had people even stopped by that um, didn't even know there was a program like that. So what I need us all to do is that, please, especially those are in the zone, and even beyond, talk to. That's the president. President, please rise. Uh, talk to the president, and see on the days they have, they're going to have uh, outreaches and things. Then you join them because they have to do outreach before the program. Are you with me? Uh -huh. That's why I said that every major program has to be a crusade. It has to be a crusade. So see how we can be part of it and help to spread and bring people to dance mania. And then hopefully it is well. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> the next catalyst will be announced. I'm sure at camp. Please, afterwards, all Levites are to meet Pamela. Pamela. Levites are those that do drama. Please. I think by now you guys should be start preparing for special December. Yeah. By now you should start. You should have an idea of what you're doing. Some of you are, you are you, you, your whole life is drama. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Your whole life is drama. Just go and join the drama department. You see that you will be easy. You come up. You <laughs> you you'll be a lead very soon because drama, small thing, dramatizes. So just join. Join. <laughs> then we have the affect your world. <laughs> is it a concert or because the gathering? It's a concert. Okay. Affect Your World concert by Kofi, our own Kofi Nkrumah. Let's put our hands together on the phone. So what is coming is called The Gathering, right? Uh -huh. This year's one is called The Gathering. It's taking place June 10th. June 10th, that's a week from today. A week from today. 6 p.m. Location is Covenant Family Church, Cantonment. Okay? Yeah. And then... Um, Please, you have to register to be there. It's free, but you have to register so that we can prepare, he can prepare for people that come. You register through your branch president. Huh. So through your branch president, let your branch president know that I want to register, I want to be there. Obviously, Kofi Kuma would, would love to see you. The, the, some of the tunes that I've heard is really crazy. It's, it's really nice. It's really, really nice. They've done very well. Kofi and Enid and Lano, the team, all those, they've done really, really well. And they have been going for, oh, let's put our hands together, yeah. They're going for rehearsals. Michael and the rest, they've been going for rehearsals back and forth. Show up. It's you they're thinking about. So be there. Okay, 6 p.m., 10th, Saturday. That's the day we are starting our fast. Fast, pray into it. Make sure you come in the, in the evening and bring the spirit. You get it? Are we good? So, tell them about be there. Shake your nerves and be there, be there. But register. Tell them about register and be there. Register and be there. Please, when we close, all SESU members should meet praise after service. SESU are those that help to. The checking car people, right? And the setup, setup, and all those. 
you do that once you do that in your branch and that's your your work over there you are the one he's talking about okay make sure that afterwards you wait behind and see our love gift for today is 508 500 and 558 okay Point zero zero. The ministry department also. Yes, the ministry department announces um, that from the tenth of this month we are starting our fasting, prayer and fasting. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Excitement, excitement, excitement! Now, whether you like it or not, it is marked in the calendar. Me, even it, we fast on my day of my birthday. I don't complain. You saw a birthday. Uh, now, listen. Tenth, um, Holy Spirit. If you're going to have an effective fast, you have to prepare for the fast. We announce so that you prepare for the fast. Preparation means that you have to start cutting down on your food. It's only about to fast. We'd rather eat plenty because they're fast neighbor. <laughs> you rather shock your body. <laughs> yeah, you put your body in a shock because you you fed it, and then all of a sudden one day. It, it will give you a headache. Your body will cry, it will scream. It will tell you I'm dying. You will. Well, it's not true. Because you're shocking the body. Rather that you know that the fast is coming, now start cutting down on how much you eat. And how, fre how frequently you eat. For instance, you take two kinky in the morning before the day starts. Take one. Be deliberate. Don't buy the two and put it down and say, no, buy only one. As well as the cow. No, buy one. Let only the one be there. When you finish, drink a lot of water. <laughs> Start reducing. Other than that, listen, the danger is that you enter into a fast, but you have craving for food. You get it? <laughs> Prophet, I don't mention how he went to fast. He said he was going to fast. He said, breathe somewhere in the valley. He went there first day. Thought, he said, food. He, look, food was on his mind. Uh, by the second day, he said, look, the way he's thinking about food is going back up. The only thing is that by the second day, he was so hungry, he was weak. So he had to do the three days. But half of it, he was just thinking about food. And that's actually the, the, the difficulty about, about fasting. What you are staying away from, you can be preoccupied with it. And that's because we shock our body. We don't prepare into it. Start preparing. Listen, please. Maybe if the morning you even take heavy, now start taking uh, tea. Lipton. <laughs> I don't know how you would, because usually if I don't take beverage in the morning, any food I take heavy in the morning it doesn't taste nice. <laughs> it feels like it's work. It's work in my. <laughs> Honestly, they tell you so. Most often I have to take. It's very, there must be a liquid a flow. Some. <laughs> How do you keep shocking your body heavy in the morning? Please, cool. <laughs> so. Today is when? What's today's date? Ten. So how many days to fast? Seven. Please take the wisdom. Take the wisdom and be deliberate about preparing to fast. The other thing also is that look, there will not come an unusual this thing fast fast upon you. It wouldn't. You you see you have to enter into a fast. Any time you check in the Bible, the Holy Ghost didn't make people throw away their food 
And that's the way they are able to fast. Anybody that fasted was deliberate. Jesus went into the wilderness himself. Are you with me? Aha. Uh -huh. So those of you that are waiting for inspiration of the word and angels, you won't get it. You won't get it. Enter into a fast. Listen, the flesh is notorious. One of the ways to keep it under control is you starve it. That's the way it works. The flesh is notorious. One of the ways you keep it under control, you starve it. Once you starve it, it will start coming down. Now, the other thing about it is that in the fasting, please don't do dry. Please, you will damage your body. It doesn't help. If you're going to do dry, make sure I've seen an angel said do dry. <laughs> what I mean is that use water. Use what? Water. water. When it becomes extreme, where you feel this in, take coconut water. I'm not saying Pastor Ross says so. <laughs> <laughs> Then next you have fruits, you have say coconut, any 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 where do you call it? Any banana there, so we have any could you have only a classmate. <laughs> Young people, you give one year, they've taken the that's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying listen, I'm saying that when it becomes whatever is just take coconut water. The goal is not the food, the goal is something to keep you going. Do you get a little idea? Uh-huh. But tell yourself that I'm in, it's supposed to be for how many days? 21 days? I'm in it for 21 days. Guess what? Shock. You are just do 21 days officially from CY. How many days will be left that you get to eat? So look at the one next and tell the person, this one is no, it's no difficult thing. Tell the person, shake the one next and say, it's not a difficult thing. So don't tell me immediately me to me. Uber to me. You can. Are we good? Then the other point in fasting, please, it's not a hunger strike. Please, that's what we are doing. We're not doing a hunger strike. So when you enter into a fast, as you're about to enter from the 10th, you have to join. They're going to create portions of times that we are going to fast together as a ministry. That's one. Number two, Branches will also be more intentional about their times of prayer during this time. You join. Then tell you, you have to create this pocket of time that you spend in prayer. You have to do it. Whether it's five, five minutes, ten, ten minutes, you create these things. They won't come automatically. Create them. Um, and, and it's because it's not hunger strike. It's waiting on God. It's seeking God's face. It's expecting God to speak to you. That is what the fast is all about. Are we good? Yeah. Uh -huh. That's what we are doing. We are good. And in, in those moments, you go crucifying the flesh. You go crying on God and say, God, Lord, deal with me. Deal with my flesh. Lord, have mercy. One of the key things in this fast is what we call, which I want you to be intentional about, is consecration fast. Consecration fast. What do I mean by that? It means that we are going to be deliberate to let go of things that causes us to sin or to walk away from God. So during this fast, those of you who have never been able to, you know your Instagram is not helping you, this is the time you let go of your, your Instagram. It's a consecration fast. The minute it starts, you let it go. It's a consecration fast. Some of you, maybe it is not so much about breasts nor boobs nor whatever, but for you, it is overspending time on social media. You have to go before the Lord and say, Lord, I want to trade that time for you more. It's a consecration fast. Everybody knows where they are. You all know where we are. Don't see. Everybody, we, know. we all know. Angels know. It's, it's consecration fast. We are going to trade. At this time, some of you also, some relationship, you just have to quit it. Call the person and say, you are between me and God. God is calling me. 
It's Apple. God bless you. Said I loved you, but I lied. <laughs> 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 listen, take this serious. Do you know why? Listen, at the end of the fast, guys, listen, the Lord must, is it detox? Yes, the Lord must detoxify your life. That's one. Number two, certain things that have been so long in coming, you see they'll show up. Because anytime a man fasts, it's like this. It's like God is speaking to you, God is speaking to you, and you have looking, you're, you're looking like this. But once you start fasting, it's like you turn towards him. So things come, things come faster, better, with clarity than when we are not in the fast. So use this time. You see, the reason why it's necessary for you to capitalize on this time is because if you're doing individually, let's say in the house I'm doing individually, some can come and worry me with food. He has gone to buy his food. All of a sudden, the food that you don't like, when they are eating it, it's nice. I remember those days when, when I see is fasting. You see somebody putting pig ground, not even from the ground, into their mouth. Cry. He said, I wish it's my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, fast will make you crave things, food you don't even like. It's a bed, do, a bed. Do. I'm telling you. <laughs> so it, it becomes challenging when you are doing sometimes alone, but this time we are doing as a family. I know you are doing, you know I'm doing it. So pick motivation for it from each other and then wait on the Lord. Does it make sense? Yeah. Oh, I can, am I making some sense, somebody? Uh huh. Sometimes you get up in the morning and like, and then they made <laughs> Sometimes you get up and you're like, no, no, and say me didi. And then you see a message on the page, prayer topic and all that. It's okay. Uh-huh. So use this time. Consecration fast. That's a consecration fast. Listen, this is the word of the Lord. If by this time I'm suddenly shouting, that's here the Lord, you believe. I'm telling you, I'm a, my eyes are open, but I'm talking to you as a prophet. Listen, consecration fast. Let's enter that place. Okay? The church of Jesus Christ right now. We are not intentional about being, how do you call it, separated. Don't use this fast as a means. You are doing the same thing as you are doing, and you are going to ask more from God. It doesn't work like that. Use the fast to take things away from your life. You are, you are, you are, you are, you are when somebody is smoking and you are there, and you are there, they call it passive smoking. Yeah, those of you are passively watching porn through Snapchat. On your friends. He says, it's on me. It's my friend. <laughs> this fast deletes every contact that posts any nudity. It doesn't matter. Use this fast. I say, Lord, I'm any contact. It could be giving you a million dollars. Delete him. Choose God above all these things. Then you can see God for what he is or who he is. Am I talking to somebody in the house? Yeah. Anybody that posts, dare to post or even mention the word new. So. <laughs> what are you going to say? New. That's it. <laughs> are we good? Are we going to do that? Hey, I can't, are we going to do that? Yeah. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, we are going to walk in consecration towards the Lord. I hope you have, you have, and then one of the things that you should also focus during your fast, pray for the oil. Pray for what? The, oil. the increase of the oil, the presence of the Holy Spirit. Use this time to go after the Holy Ghost. Oil. Um, anim, you know, sometimes some, some animals have these flies and things worrying them. To deal with that, they usually put oil on their head. Because the oil will repair. When the oil is upon your head, you have much demonic activities around you. Some of the things that you are struggling is because you are not increasing the oil upon your head. Oil, you must be oiled. So during this fast, go after the oil of the Lord. And above all, say, 
One of the things that I see God told me about some, some of us, he said, look, he said, tell them to seek me. He said, let him seek me. He says, have you heard him? Turn your eyes upon Jesus. Jesus. Look what? Look fully in his wonderful face. Look at what he says. And the things of earth will grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace. The cure for worldliness is the face of Jesus. Use this time of fast. Seek him. Don't even say, God, see, heal me. No. Seek him. I want you, Jesus. The last I feel your heart, say, Jesus, I want you above. There have been times I pray, I say, Lord, I want you. I want you and I want to desire you above my need for sexual gratification. Yeah. You have to go to God and say, Lord, yeah. You know, if you're here, if they bring a woman, you strip you. What you do to the Holy God knows. <laughs> <laughs> but you have to go to God and say, God, what I'll do to a woman who says yes, Lord, I want more of you than that. But God knows what in your heart. <laughs> you can't go and do your face like uh, this thing. God knows what if you get a woman, what you do. <laughs> you made her pray in tongues. May the Lord have mercy. During the week of the fast, one of the things to help us maintain focus is that we are going to listen to Kingdom Move podcast. This is our initiative from the uh, ministry department. They will tell us which one we are listening to. So we listen to it. And then also, um, the podcast, the, kin, the what, was, what are we doing? Catalyst. <laughs> he said we, you used to listen to it once, right? The latter part or something. But this time, second week, and then the week before, yeah. The week of Catalyst, we listen and review. So there's a bit of change, just to make sure that our minds are still on what we have been told, so that we can grow thereby. We also have the book reading. Some of you are you reading the books? Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. What's today's date? Third of June, half of a year. If they have followed the book reading, how many books have read by now? Five. You could have boldly by this and shaking and have read five books. Knowledge has entered, but because of your pride. It started with the first one. Oh, you are rich somewhere. You are rich somewhere. You see? That's how you reach 90 without accomplishing your dreams. Because you ignore one book after the other. You ignore one book after the other. <laughs> so shake your neighbor and say, sit up, sit up, sit up, sit up. Shake the person and say, you are young. Tell the person, you are young. You are young. You must be serious. Those of you that those of you that re- say yeah, whatever book, whatever excuse you use, it doesn't hold. Yes. Remember, every excuse you, you you take, you make excuses like what bed. The more excuse you make, you, you're making it comfortable. You sleep in it, and it will take you nowhere. Have you ever seen anybody move by bed? It's only in dreams <laughs> or cartoon that you see that their bed, they lie on their bed, and bed is moving. Bed. The more you lie inside, the more you stay where. You are. Anybody that accomplish anything is one that will get up and go do. So shake your neighbor and say, stop the excuses. Shake your neighbor and say, stop the excuses. Tell them about read, 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 read. Tell the person, we are entering to the fast. We are entering to the fast. Uh-huh. Before I forget, the last thing on our announcements. Listen, I need everybody to listen. We are building. Hallelujah. We are going to build. We are going to build. We are going to build first on maybe the next two catalysts because the next one come maybe over there or, uh, beyond that but we are building well, i'll show you the design and the plan our architectural team in-house they work something now very soon we'll see it amen. amen we're building and the hope and the faith is that we are starting building by the end of this year Jesus. by the end of this year some instrument will go down dig the ground and we'll start building so those of you that have made pledges five years, you have been on it. Age 90. <laughs> yeah. you still be at 90 and making pledges and you're not doing. Listen. Listen to me. Go back to all the pledges you have made, you have been on it, and go on her. 
Here's the thing. If you go say, oh, I'll make a new one, that's I'll start honoring. You have defeated the word you have said because your words have a history of not being fulfilled. When Jesus met, uh, what's his name? Um, the short guy, Zacchaeus. <laughs> it's a description, it's a description. <laughs> <laughs> as a sign that he has what do you call it he had repented what did he say he said i'm going back to correct that which is the wrong that's already there and i'm even going to double or triple it what am i saying you have to make your word valuable to you when you make a pledge on earth one of the things I noticed some of us is that we make this if you make a pledge of thousand cities. I'll give thousand cities. And then the Lord blesses you with let's say five hundred. He said, Let me spread my so I'll go and give um hundred. Next one, the Lord will bring me uh another five hundred, I'll, I'll give hundred. It doesn't work like that. You have to prioritize your pledge above your own comfort. Because it's an honor you it's, it's a pledge you are made to the Lord. That God, I will do this so you do this. If you delay your obedience, then you're delaying your breakthrough. So when I said, well, rather, go and give all the money out. And tell God, that's how faithful I am. It will shock you that the next one that will come will not be 500, it will be about 1,000. So stop delaying and spreading your giving. Instead of two cities, three cities, two cities, three cities. Meanwhile, I'm going to tell God, I'll give you 5,000. so you yes, I'll bless you. <laughs> Calculate how long you want to honor that pledge. And when I make pledge, I'm looking for how soon I'll just honor my pledge. Why? Because my pledges are a promise of something about my future. That's what pledges are. I'm giving because I'm believing something's coming. So I go ahead of it and honor it. Stop delaying your pledges. Because God, do you know why I'm saying that? Because I've seen how the Lord is honoring. Um, my faith to build. I see it. And I realize that God will bypass you, who's supposed to work in obedience, and he gives to somebody else because God wants to build it. You will not be the summing block. Once God is committed, it means that all you have to do, you have to give to God so that God uses you. God is like somebody who wants to give, a contractor wants to give jobs to people. He says you give for the one that will be on the, on the site. No, so you, you guys you have to learn. If you have made a, a, a pledge and a promise, you have to honor it. I always say that if you made a pledge generally, God is so faithful. From, you're saying that from generally to now, God has not honored his word in your life for you to be faithful. He has. Often it is us. We are doing things that are hindering that. So shake your neighbor. Tell neighbor, wake up, wake up. Honor your pledges. Honor your pledges. Shake the one and say, honor your pledges, okay? And God bless all of you that are honoring your pledge. Please, also, when you're about to honor your pledge, listen, when you honor your pledge, remember it's a covenant between you and God. Pray. Go back to God. Trust God. Don't just casually give what you have pledged. Hey, because that's your seed. Speak life to it. And tell God, God, I believe my seed. And I believe as I release it, you are going to open tremendous doors. Amen. Amen. Okay. In, in, in bringing to real conclusion. Listen. Because we are building. I'm going to. There are some certain people. You are going to help me buy iron rods. The contractor always is, is left. He said, I need 300,000 to start to, build, to buy iron rolls. It's to start to. <laughs> it's not the mill building. He said, I had 300,000. No. He said, iron rolls beginning. Um, what do you call that thing? Cement hasn't come. Many other things hasn't come. But I believe I'll get my iron rolls and my cement and my blocks and my labor money. And this year, by the end of the year, we'll start building. Yeah. Don't you believe? Let's, let's put that. I believe. Okay. So I have some strategies. Those are the, those are the help me for the bus. They know. They will come and see them. <laughs> they didn't know. I already started. I have a new page. And then they've started raising. And I was there three days today. No. Is it three days? When, when, by week, one of them sent money. Already for iron rods. Yeah. Send some part of his pledge. He wants to give 50,000 towards iron rods. Yeah. Oh, I thought we'd give God some glory. <laughs> Shake your hands.
shake your hand and say, it will happen, it will happen, it will happen, it will happen, it will happen. Okay, so if somebody is giving 50,000 towards Iron Road, because I have to raise uh, 300, at least 300,000, what do you think you can do? <laughs> okay, this is a strategy I'm bringing. Are you in the house? I'm yet to discuss everything with the president on how we're going to do it, but what we're going to do is that after our normal offerings at Ava, we are going to start raising coins, yeah, projects, one CD, five CD, faith, whatever. And th that money is going to go straight, for me, is going to buy cement. We'll have a number for the project. Or maybe you are there, you have some breakthrough money with that comes. You send some. Ladies, please, the money you use to buy your facials, just take some. When you are buying the cement that covers your face, remember that there's a cement for the Lord. <laughs> I'll tell you. <laughs> now, how much is cement? Uh, uh, I hope it hasn't got beyond 100. Yeah. Come here. For. It's 90 cities. Yeah. How much papaya can... can, can uh, 1 papaya. So, I'm just going to you know, from today, when you go, when you go eat papaya, you know, you could buy cement. You could contribute to something. <laughs> I want to put guilt on you. <laughs> Are we good? But we are all good. Look, we are going to build. It's possible. The number will come out. Honestly, you get some small, just push it there. Push it there. Every week, we'll make sure that we are purchasing some amount of cement and things. The good thing about, about our ministry is that we have the skilled people in terms of, because in building, they say about 40, 35 to 40 percent or so goes to experts. The architectural uh, designer, the structure, they take a lot of money because it's, it's expertise over the years. But we have them in CY. So all we need majorly is material and labor. So building will not be impossible. We just have to be intentional. All of us have to start thinking about sacrificing. As I say, honor your pledge and then keep sowing. At your branch level, after take, no matter the gather. Let's keep gathering. Then you send it. Then we'll buy. Then we'll do. But I don't realize we'll build. There also come a time when we'll wool all of you. Come for catalyst. We'll bus take there and go and dig and then and then carry. Are we good? Yeah. Are we ready? We will do. We'll do. We'll do. The day. The day we, we shall. We should, we should pay laborers. We are going to be the laborers. You have to tell God I built for you. Okay, so prepare. We'll take you there. We'll dig. We'll do some. Maybe a day we have to do blocks and you go. Just make sure you, you get it. Uh huh. Pompo. <laughs> Amen. Your children have to come and tell the block women and meet me. Yeah. Uh -huh. Are you in the house? So either at camp or whatever, I'll show you the designs and all to motivate and encourage you. But please, shake your name and tell them we are building. Oh, shake your neighbor and say, we are building, we are building, we are building, we are building, we are building. Sorry, yes. And lastly, there's an all night. Yeah. Awakening yeah. all night. It's on the 30th of June. It's a Friday. It's a Friday. So awakening, please, we, we all have to be there. Awakening prayer retreat is one of the great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 
you pray for hours without realizing. Yeah, yeah it, it's beautiful. Just be there. And last, I just was reminded, we have a wedding coming up. Is that, is that our first wedding for this year? Is the first, uh, okay, no, first wedding, no, second wedding. The first, the first was January, we went to Kumasi. Yes. We have our sisters getting married this year, but it is not open for all yet. Those that are going, they have received their invitation. <laughs> <laughs> if you haven't received and you know you'll go it's, it's just delayed but it will come <laughs> but it's not for but to inform our sister Selassie Mensa um, wow are you surprised <laughs> she's getting married at the end of this month Are we good? Yeah. The traditional is 29th, and then the white wedding is the 1st, July. And since we are not having, usually we announce the, the glass catalyst before. Uh -huh, so that's why. So prayers, encouragement, encouragement, you know. Uh -huh. Encouragement. Selassie, from beginning she, she came, she's been faithful. Been around. The times you haven't seen her, she was in school somewhere. But she's around. Some of you, you didn't know Selassie? Yeah. The spoken word with the voice or whatever, bofu, 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 bofu. And yes, mom, I don't need bofu, dear, dear. You know. So she's getting married. And I want us all to support in any way. Those of you that receive invitation, make sure that you go and represent all of us. Amen. Amen. Afterwards, there's another, invi another invitation. I'll come in. Another, another, another. <laughs> hey. That one, if you don't know about it, you are late because the all tellers are books. <laughs> All tellers are book. If you don't know about it, and and done your dress, you are late. That one, yeah, maybe you have to go to Kofi Gomez wardrobe and go and borrow some dresses. Uh huh. Because it's 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 late. And and we thank God for God's faithfulness. This year, we have about how many? So this one, the next one, the next one, and then the next one. I'm giving you a hint ahead of time. If you know you are potentially one, do your dress and put it down. Amen. Hallelujah. The colors, eh? They say, we'll text the colors to you. We'll text the colors to you so I can choose. Uh, are you a mentor, yeah? I've heard one that is coming. There's a bent orange somewhere. There's a bent orange somewhere. So if your orange is normal, go and put it in the oven. <laughs> go and bend it small. <laughs> Shall we rise up with our video? It's good to have Julius back in the house. Let's appreciate the love. Yeah, Julius, it's good to see you. We're talking the other time. He didn't tell me you are coming. Yeah, yeah, you are coming. Africans are like that. Eh? <laughs> they don't have to give their witches any hint. <laughs> you appear and you disappear. <laughs> hey, are we ready? Not to change. Not to change. Stay on the way. Come on. That's the hope.
desire is to be faithful to the very end holy spirit give us grace to be faithful to your word to your spirit you're leading your guide to be faithful to your love lord help all of us we thank you for the grace released today we know as we're going that lord you're going with us ordering our steps helping us use us for your glory we honor you and we bless you in jesus mighty name and all shall say amen amen look at your neighbor next to you and tell your neighbor something you have heard today tell them something you've heard today tell neighbor neighbor we are entering this fast together we are going to pray together i know that you will stand with me that you will not leave me alone in the desert we are going to pray and we are going to seek the face of the lord and i know the lord who has called us is faithful to us neighbor i love you i really really love you really 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 love you and i just want to give you a big hug May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God. Surely, goodness and mercy. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord. God bless you. God bless you. Love you. Have a great, great, great month.